Okay, so we don't have Solar League today, so that means Bren is going to be MIA. We'll figure out what, how that plays into things later. But before we start, I'm going to talk briefly about the, your angels uh, and how they grow and progress. So if you could look at your character sheet for your angel, there's a bunch of information that you don't need to worry about it, but uh, right above where you have your relationships is growth. And you will have one out of four right now. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that progresses by one every time you take a long rest. Your character takes a long rest. Basically every day that goes up by one. Uh, the number four will increase as you get higher. But if you guys remember at the very beginning, you guys completed one of the goals that Ramiel gave you, which was to meet up all of your acolytes together. And when you did that, you raised the trust that he has in you. Thank you. And because of that, you guys were able to reduce the number of days required down to four. Before that, it was eight. So, cool. big improvement there. Yeah. Uh, as you complete more goals for Ramiel and stuff like that, then that will help to prevent that from getting too high. But as you get stronger... As an angel, it does take longer to grow up. This is be to uh, grow and get stronger. This so is good. So, so we've reached once someone reaches four, that their angel will become a rather than a lesser angel, they become a um... not quite. So if you look near the top right, you have soul tempering, and it will give you a roll like three d four greater than one or something. And that's what everybody has right now. So once you hit four out of four growth then you are able to roll that soul tempering. And for every one of those dice that is greater than four, because you're rolling three dice, so you have up to three successes, then that number to the right of the roll, which is currently plus four for everybody, you will increase that by how many successes you get. So if you get all three over one, then, then you'll get plus three on that, and it'll become a plus seven. So that affects... and. That number is directly tied to what is called your soul power, which you'll see on the left side, right above your soul level. So your soul level det determines what type of angel you are. Three is a lesser angel. Four is an intermediate angel. Five is a greater angel. Uh, if you And right above that, your soul power is like your experience points. Uh, you need to get that to ten in order to become an intermediate angel. So if you get three in soul tempering, it'll raise your soul power to seven, and you'll, but you'll still be a lesser angel until you get it to ten. So you do need to do a little bit more than just wait another three days. <laughs> but but it, it does get you part of the way there. So, uh, at the moment, you don't have many other growth opportunities besides waiting for that. It's going to be a little difficult to use other things to get you there, but as you do get a little higher level, there are more avenues to strengthen yourself as an angel. Uh, for example, whenever you give a blessing or a gift to your acolyte, then you, depending on how much valor they give you, you immediately do soul tempering. So if they, if you take one valor from them, then you roll however many dice you're supposed to roll, which might be four dice at that point. If you get two valor from your acolyte, then you do it twice. So that uh, giving blessings and gifts to your acolyte will be a big way to get a lot of soul power pretty quickly. But that means you obviously need to get the Valor first. And that's going to be a little bit difficult. Valor, like I mentioned in one of the chats earlier, um, like a week ago, that it's a very subjective thing. It's basically how closely you embody your tenets. Um, so if you go to your characters, near the bottom you have your matching tenets. These are, this is like the alignment of your characters. Uh, uh, how well you portray them in situations and the actions that your character takes in play determines whether you can potentially get Valor from it. It's not going to be easy to get a lot of Valor. Valor is going to be like the most premium currency there is. So when you do get it, Congratulations. If you don't get it, good luck next time. Okay. You got it. Uh, any questions about any of that? 
Nope. Not okay. Moment. Maybe I'm sure later. We'll end up going over it again at some point. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Once it's more, once it's immediately relevant again, like once it actually comes up, I'll explain <laughs> a bit. But uh, so about character acolyte goals, your the goals that your acolytes have. Once you complete them, you get experience. Like you guys noticed when you did the battle the first session, you only got one experience, so you didn't get very much. Um, you can get more than just one experience per battle, obviously. You only killed, like, three opponents, though. So, if you killed more people, then you might get a little bit more. But it's not going to be a huge amount. Combat is going to be a secondary way to get experience in this, unless you, like, beat a boss or something, you know. <laughs> but, uh, your character goals are going to be the most direct way to get stronger and level up and... The experience that you get from that will be significantly more like after the session last time, me and Casey talked a bit and we decided that Erg had completed one of his character goals. Yeah! And he was able to get five extra experience for that just from completing that one goal. Yeah. And uh, and that was a pretty cheap goal. Most, most goals will be more than five. Most of them will be closer to ten for the rest of you guys. But yeah, um, so... Uh, that's sort of one of the reasons why you want to complete goals, and you, if if possible, you want one of your goals to be completable in a, each session. So that way, you just have a steady climb instead of not going anywhere for like two or three sessions, and boop, you get a level. Now that is perfectly viable for some of your guys, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, always try to be working towards your goal. If you think a goal has become unrealistic, then you can change it between sessions. You cannot change it middle in the middle of a session. It needs to be between sessions. Um, just let me know if you change it, because I need to determine how much XP the new one is going to be worth and all that stuff. Um, okay. Any questions about character goals or how to complete them? Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so at the end of last session, you guys, uh, well, Jojo managed to spot the kid that was trailing you guys, and he went after him and caught the kid. Um, then talked to the kid a little bit. Kid ran away again. He chased him into a building where there was a handful of militia guys who confronted Jojo about it, and then eventually you guys headed back and grouped it, met, met up with everybody else. So during that, during that situation, we had Bryn follow you, after the kid. Um, but he didn't catch you, and this is just my explanation of why he's no longer here. He got lost, and as you guys went back and met up with everybody else, you just noticed that Bryn's not there. Weird. So, so yeah, the, weird, but... Uh, I um, wonder what happened to poor old Bryn. Maybe yeah, he went yeah. back to the end. Oh, the maybe he it's ran away from her. Maybe running away eventually there. What? So, uh, we'll see how this works out for him. Later on, we're just gonna find him dead on a road. Yeah, you, you'll find a corpse or something. That's shank. <laughs> <laughs> I shank the back alley. There we go. I, I mean, Erg needs to loot his stuff to make money. So Erg doesn't need any more goddamn money. Erg has the most amount of money. No, that's one of my goals. <laughs> Jojo literally has zero money. Okay, I'm good. I've got enough. Well, I mean, Brad has a grand total of two money. So, <laughs> well, he can loot his gear. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was There's the dad. poor boys and then the rich boys. We say how it is. <laughs> okay, so you were talking to some of the militia guys, and uh, eventually they agreed to lead you. I don't remember exactly what was said. I was going to double check this in case he ever uploaded the video, but he never did. It was rip? Why well, don't we have this conversation inside or in not in the middle of the street? Yeah, and okay. They... So he kind of not any told you to follow them. So then you guys start walking uh, a bit eastward through the city. Uh, right now you guys are already in the southern section of the city, and he was leading you guys eastward and then a little bit north. So as you're going along, there were about six militia guys following you, or along with you guys going in that direction. And as you go every couple of blocks or so, one of them would peel off and go inside a building or just split off from the group. So by the time you get where you're going, 
it's just U5 or U4 because Brim's not there. Rip. <laughs> and, uh, and then the main guy that was leading you. So let me move you guys over to the new map. Bam. Might take a second to load. Everybody double check that you have control over your little characters. I do. Yep. Yep. Okay. So this guy is leading you to something that looks almost like a fort. Um, like, it's kind of... A, there's like a, surround, a, a clearing around it between it and any other buildings. And no buildings were within about 100 yards of this thing. It was almost like a... Like a tiny little castle. Not you wouldn't call it a castle because it's so small, but it was built something like a castle. Stone walls that go up thirty feet, um, and it you can tell that there's some damage on it. So both on the lower left side over here, it appears like part of the foundation was damaged, and there's even like a pond that has formed around the base of the structure. It looks like ruins then, to me. It, yes. Yes. And then in the top right um, are, is another section that looks like a collapsed wall that you guys are able to catch a glimpse of. But most of the building is intact aside from those two uh, issues right there. So compared to most of the other buildings in this section of the city, which is mostly ruins, this building is pretty much intact. It's somehow it, uh, it survived the test of time for the most part. And you can definitely tell that it has been worked on a bit. They have made a few repairs. So it looks like they've been here for a bit. But this guy is leading you into this fort. Do you guys do anything or just simply follow him? I mean, that's fine. Uh, Our uh, just keeps going. Ambush! Alright, boy, Diamond Diamond Formation. <laughs> okay, so um, as you guys walk into the middle, some of the guys, some of the men that are here do look over you, to you, and you see a few people nodding. Um, you think that mm. a few of them might recognize you from the Plaza Battle. These, Some of these guys might have been the militiamen that actually showed up in that battle. Oh, so we wouldn't recognize any of them? <laughs> well, none of them particularly stood out. You guys were a little bit too busy running away. But uh, they they probably recognize you more than you recognize them. <laughs> Punching fucking guards. So they just kind of sort of acknowledge you, like, yeah, nothing too fancy. <laughs> and then this guy sort of leads you to, to the door, and he's like, surrender your weapons. <laughs> and just like puts out his hands. <laughs> 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 do you want my arms <laughs> he just shrugs I guess okay, my gloves fine. I could hand him I mean them. Erg's weapons are cheap so Erg doesn't really care it's like, do you just cloth them on the ground I mean they're just like two <laughs> clubs <laughs> that sounds like something Erg would do is there like a guy or is he, is he like pointing towards a direction he wants us to put the weapons no, uh, this guy on the side will like or in an offer to take your weapons or something. Yeah. All right, well, I give it to him. I tell him I expect he's back. Of course, the guy sort of just nods, like, <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll also do the same. Okay. I mean, Erg just drops yeah. him on the ground. Like an Erg. Erg has money. Erg yeah. needs not these. Okay, so he opens the door and leads you guys inside. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, push. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I beat the shit out of him, because he didn't want... Yeah. <laughs> he didn't take those hands. So then okay. Catch him. And then he opens this other door as well. Yeah. Into this... Looks like a... Common room type area. And... As soon as the door's open, you guys do hear that there was some talking going on. And then these two guys that were down here near the bottom kind of just give a nod to the other guy who's... Here, rebel, and then rebel, they rebel. make their way outside as well. He has mm. the feather, guys. He's important. Yeah. He has a feathered yep. hat. He's wearing purple. We all know how purple is. <laughs> okay, so this guy. He's important when he has a feather hat. Yeah. 
So the guy who led you in here gives a nod to the guy with the fancy hat and then proceeds to introduce you guys. Um, well, I don't know. You wouldn't know much of he. None of you guys mentioned that you fought at the plaza, did you? No. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, no. Actually, yes. Oh, did Cause you? Did you know? Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, they were like asking me why I came out of their building. And I was like, well, because I was looking for a job. And it's like, and then I disagreed with them. And they're like, how could we know that? Well, I was in the plaza fighting them the other day with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Why, uh, why I beat the shit out of that one guy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he would no, and it might have just been mentioned casually in conversation on the way here. So he would mention to the other guy that these guys helped fight against the uh, mercenaries in the plaza. Then he would just give a nod and he would exit through this door at the top, leaving you guys alone with this one. So this guy would look at you for a bit, kind of sizing you all up, and then he would introduce himself. Hello, I am Oscar Kinzen, the current leader of the militia here in Minor. See that you guys also don't approve of the Krenoran traitors and their methods. Is this correct? Joseph goes forward and says, My name is Joseph Josar. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance and puts out his hand for like a handshake. He'll take it. From like 10 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> Step forward. He has really I long arms. Character sheet. I was looking at the character sheet. I was paying him? attention. Yeah. Yeah, he'll he'll take your hand, give you a nice warm handshake. Warm. Warm. <laughs> warm is an amicable it, it's not wrong. It's not like his hands are fucking freezing or Never something. Heard that before. <laughs> well, how do you know? It looks like he's wearing gloves. Okay, it's like it's like giving someone a warm <laughs> greeting. That's sort of what, how I meant. I, I know. I, I have to use <laughs> it. I've never heard it described that way before. <laughs> As he grasps your hand, he knows it is unusually warm. It's kind of soggy, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? It, Why are your palms so soggy? You, you feel the, the hairs on your, the back of your neck just stand up. <laughs> Okay, does anybody else introduce themselves? Sure, why not? I'll step forward and introduce myself. <laughs> okay, how do you introduce yourself? Uh, as Shane uh, Blockhammer, and I will, I will offer my hand as well. Okay. He takes it. Same thing. So how and big is this kind of... Oscar guy? <laughs> uh, oh, I'd say he's about 5'11". 5'11"? Maybe 180 pounds. Oh. Really? His character sprite looks bigger than the so other he's, ones. That's weird. So he's, he's, so he's actually big, big, almost the same size as me. He, he's, he's an inch taller, and he's five pounds heavier than I am. So he's basically me size. As opposed to like herb size or something. Like a, his character sprite looks big, though. That's weird. Just a sprite. Okay. okay. Just, a sprite. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, okay, look at JoJo's sprite. It looks kind of small, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Eric doesn't really introduce himself then. Okay. I mean, he just kind of glances at you and then glances at Trayson. Like, <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. I'll take your hand. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Erg. So, so when did you guys arrive in Minor? Uh, yesterday, I, wait, yesterday? Except for Shane. Was I one of the ones? Yeah, I was, yeah, everybody else I was, was here. Everybody else was here two days ago. Was Shane is the only one who was two days ago, yeah. yeah. Everyone else was yesterday. And he was extremely yesterday. useful getting here two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> he scouted the area, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So he kind of gives you a slow nod, like, have you dealt with the Grenoran Traders group before? Not no. once. I didn't even know their name until like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, interactions with them. It's been a few hours up to this point, right? 
Well, it, it was yesterday at this point. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no, when we, no, no, no. I'm talking about when we heard their name when we met them. That wasn't yesterday. Oh, was it? yeah, that yeah. would have been an hour John, ago. Yeah. John, Jonathan did not remember their name though. If you recall, he kept calling them the wrong name. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So let's see. So after you guys just say that you hardly dealt with him except for Tracen, he would. Add, oh, Wolfpack. Okay, it said that I got a new message from you, Wolfpack, but you, there's no new message. I, I deleted it. Oh, okay. You told me. I see. <laughs> I, no, I, I asked you a question that I asked last session, and I realized there was already an answer. So I deleted uh, it. Nice. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, you so know, he would. Could you, could you remove that audio from the recording? <laughs> Okay, he'd look at you guys and be like, so are you guys willing to help us out against the Kanora traders? How about first you explain your side of the story, why is, there, why is the conflict happening in the first place? I've heard KTGs, and I'd like to hear yours. So he sort of stands up a little straighter, puts his hands out of sight, and he's like, well, about two years ago, they started getting more active around the city. Prior to that, they had mostly stayed up north, closer to uh, Eleanor? city whose name I can never remember. Yeah, Eleanor. El I Ionor, that's how you say it. Okay. Oh, that's and, only, and only really coming by in a few ships and caravans to trade goods, but since about two years ago, they started establishing a permanent site here and that's when they started construction of that headquarters they have in the center of the city. Nobody thought much of it at the time until about eight months ago when they started getting very aggressive in how they overtook the economy of the city, especially in the north. Anybody who was competing with them in whatever goods they were trying to sell or things they were trying to manufacture would commonly find themselves harassed by bandits and mercenaries that would just show up seemingly out of nowhere and then be gone the next day. A few of us around the city decided to follow a few of these guys, ending up seeing them meeting some people who were known to be with the KTG. We tried to confront them about this, but of course they denied any involvement in that. And then they got even more aggressive. We were finding shopkeepers murdered if they tried to refuse. Joe just slams his fist on the table and steals those fiends! <laughs> yes. We... We suspect that... Some of it, perhaps, KTG don't even know about. They just hire all these ruffians and people who are only here for the money. They just pay them to try to keep them on their side and defending their own cargo and goods and don't care about what they do in the city. They've caused quite a few headaches for us. But recently, we think we've managed to prevent them from getting too out of hand, but the result of that is that they're taking this much more seriously. They're now more of an organized group than they used to be. So we've been trying to get organized ourselves. That's what you see here. We're putting together an actual militia to fight back and make sure that they can't just keep our heads in the dirt like they've been trying to. You tried talking to them, to their leaders. The KTG. Yes. That's you pay them, of course. That's what we tried to do at first. Asking them what the hell's going on and why they're taking such measures trying to stomp out anyone who would oppose them in terms of infrastructure and production of goods. But they just deny it. They make it sound like we're just trying to cause trouble. And then if we don't leave, they force us out, sometimes with more than just bruises. Hmm. 
You mean cuts? I've opened the dialogue before, that's for sure. Do you say that, or...? Yeah. Is that just inner dialogue? Say that again? Uh, the, sorry. Uh, they didn't seem open to dialogue before, for sure. Are you referring to when you met them, or yeah. the battle? The battle. <laughs> oh, okay. They... They do not like it if anyone tries to diminish their reputation. It's one of the KTG's main uh, soft spots, I guess. Or no, the opposite of a soft spot. I don't know. Whatever. So it's one of the spots, it, it, that's one of the things that they really don't take kindly to whenever someone acts against their reputation. Anyone who's caught in front of the building doing anything, saying negative things about them, they generally don't get off too well. We noticed. <sighs> so what is the and long term? Are you guys trying to force them out of the city? Are you trying to find a potential peaceful uh, coexistence? At this point, we've given up on peaceful resolution. They've been stomping out our livelihood for the last eight months, and we've had about enough of it. We're putting swords in people's hands and trying to get them a little bit competent with the blade and hoping that's going to be enough. We don't know what else to do. I saw some of your men about to seem more incompetent. Where are you receiving your training? Your pay? Hey, most of us are doing this to maintain our livelihoods, to reclaim our livelihoods. Tra as for training, a couple of us are pretty solid, but I think it's mostly just we're, we're doing this to protect our families. So we're not afraid of a few cuts and bruises. I can respect that. So where do we come in? Well, if you're willing to help us, we always need more hands, more swords, and competent fighters. If you'll assist us, we would all greatly appreciate it. Judge just ends up all hang. Or I guess he wasn't sitting down. I'm just imagining because that looks like a stool there. So I'm guessing oh, that, that's a color. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, and those I'll... other things are candles. I was trying to figure out what the heck those. Are. <laughs> I thought those were like little claws or something. The judge says, "I'll assist you. This this cause seems noble and worthy. Though, if there's an opportunity for peaceful dialogue, I wish to take it. But I know that's not always the choice." Does anybody else say anything? No, I'm good. Okay. JoJo solo adventure! <laughs> <laughs> I agree with JoJo. Well, okay, do you guys give the impression that you're of the same mind as JoJo? Or do you look hesitant? I don't know. I mean, or when you look completely impassive. <laughs> um... I would I would agree with Jojo. Erg looks over at Jojo. No, I mean mm. I would I would probably act before thinking, but we'll get to that when we drop it. Okay. Erg looks Oh yeah, sorry. I'm trying to help my character. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like probably out of it today. Um I agree. I, I, I kind of stand agree, in like agreement with them. I don't want to say speak it, but... Okay. Right. Yeah, sounds good. So, Eric, what were you saying? Eric looks over at Jojo. Mm. Eric looks at Oscar. 
and nods mm. once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he, he would definitely have a bit of a wider smile at this point and be like, excellent. Excellent. Very glad to have you. You're welcome to bed here for the night and we'll take care of your food. Uh, <laughs> hmm. He wouldn't mention money at all. You would definitely notice that. But, uh, it's fine. He'd be like, it's free we're going board. to... What was that? It's free room and board. Yeah, yeah. That's about as much as he can offer you. And then he'd sort of point you all to go to the door at the top. He's like, up through there, you'll find some stairs. And then got beds enough in that direction. So that's where you can stay tonight. We'll be making a move, so try to be ready. Okay. Either rest now, or be prepared to stay up late. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Eric, sleep. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just go do that then. Going to bed. I don't think that was my place. Okay, so you'll find the next floor of the building below if you scroll down. Oh. Ah! Okay, so you guys just rest there for the rest of the day? is gonna turn to, like, Tracen Trace and then Oops. Shane and be like, do you think... Uh, what's his name? I forget now. Oscar. No. Uh, Silver Six's character. Oh, Brent. Brent, that's right. <laughs> Do you think Brent's gonna be okay? <laughs> Brent's gonna be. I think. Should we go get him? Fine. Like dot dot dot. I think he'll be just fine. He was following you. you he was. Uh, you know I have it actually. Uh, we're 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 both the same height, but. Why That's how we just it to have, lose someone in a crowd. Why didn't you just have Brendan play and then you control him as best you can? Because that way he would get experience. Oh. Yeah, okay. and, where's the, and where's the fun of that? <laughs> right now he's going and finding Capone's character. Definitely. Yeah, we'll have a little side adventure with Capone, Bren, <laughs> and uh, Marky. Oh, yeah, they just we'll sort of meet each other randomly. He's lost, and then he runs into these guys. Like, where am I? <laughs> I saw a great vision of an angel. Oh, really? Wait, what? I thought we were the only ones here for that. <laughs> okay. So does anybody do anything for the next handful of hours? Um, is enough time for uh, a short rest, or a long rest, rather? Oh, yeah, long rest, yeah. All right, I don't think anybody used any, except Jeter used, like, one... Damn it! <laughs> so, how does, um, for example, if you have basic conditioning, yeah. it, does it stack, or is no. it just a race? What is there? All te once you take a long rest, all temporary hit points are immediately lost, and then you regain uh, based on your conditioning or other effects that would give you temporary hit points. So it's not worth doing if we got a good roll the first time. Well, you. You're supposed to always oh, redo it. Some of us. You might get a bad yeah, roll the next no, time. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's not worth taking a long rest if you got a good yes, roll. Yes, you're, you're correct with that, yes. Okay. Although some of us. But you also, also need to sleep. So I'm going to take a long rest. Yeah. Yeah, I only got like one health. Oh. Yeah, I just, I just have one temporary hit point. Oh, that's sad. Oh, from okay. seven to two. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a temp hit points right here. There's nothing there. That, you don't have conditioning. I don't think. I no. I have basic conditioning. Okay. It it will be under non combat, but a non combat yeah. and basic conditioning. Everybody rolling rid of love. I just created one temporary hit point for one temporary. Hit point. I just traded seven for two. I traded two why would for you, one. Why would you trade seven hey, for two? What is cause wrong you with have, you? Because I'm going to have to take the long rest. Cause, or else I'll be probably like sleep deprived or something like that. A short rest or a nap. In short rest, really, I, I, yeah, I don't really consider that like sleeping per se. 
Oh, Earn some boss. I mean, you know. Whatever, I guess. I think the last. Yeah. And then. Didn't have much to lose anyway. Fucking four ones in a row there, though. What the hell? Roll 20. <laughs> Yeah. Roll 20 be drunk. Roll 20 be crazy. Okay, so. this You guys just rest until nightfall, and then someone will come and wake you guys up and tell you that we're gathering in the courtyard. Yeah, did they give us our weapons back? They're. Actually, no. Um, the guy who comes to wake you up. Brings you guys your weapons. We'll okay, okay. <laughs> just check it. I don't want to be. A, I don't want to be in a fight later. You find your weapons at the bottom of the well. They were. <laughs> 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 the militiamen weren't happy that we didn't stay around to help them. <laughs> okay. Judge oh God, I can't see my character. You can use your scroll wheel while holding your character, just FYI. Oh! Oh, this is magical. Oh, that's better. <laughs> makes, makes it a bit easier to navigate. Yeah, it does. Except when you're going sideways. That sucks. Yeah. You can click your mouse, you can your use, mouse yeah, wheel, mouse and use that thing. Oh! Uh, side to side for me. Or am I zoomed out all the way? I'm zoomed out all the way. Uh, guess, wait, if you're... Clicking on your yeah, it doesn't go side to side. Yeah. Feels bad, man. Okay, well, anyways, uh, so. Everybody's out here, you guys, there's like a. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine militia guys out here. And, like, what time of the night is it? Do we have an idea? So, this is, it's just after nightfall. So, you guys came here, it was only about noon. <clears throat> Consider Oscar a, a, a militiaman. Uh. He, he he is the leader of the militia, so... So there's, so there's ten. Oh, nine. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Feels bad. <laughs> sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> you. No, you're not. You're not sorry, man, <laughs> a little bit. I am no, little. I am not. <laughs> Lightning strikes right where she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's really magical. Everyone who's even five feet away takes no damage. But Shane... You take 20d10 damage. <laughs> <laughs> 20 D10. 20 D10. It's only max 200 damage. They're all ones. Oh, you magically survive, but you find that your left arm is completely missing. <laughs> I think I only used one handed weapon. Well, too okay. bad your left hand. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh. So. You guys show up in the courtyard, Oscar will give you a nod, and then he'll sort of be talking to the entire group here. We're heading north. The KTG maintain a prison, prison of sorts, and they've been keeping townspeople and our fellow militiamen captive there. We're going to break them out. That's about it. Here we go. Good pep talk. That's it. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be pep talky. It was supposed to be like, briefy. Going, here's what we're doing. He's we're not doing. about inspiring bravery. He's about doing things. Getting, getting no, oh, but this is me speaking out in character. No information on how many people we're facing. No idea of where. There's usually no more than six to seven guards around the prison at any time. Oh, we should be fine. But after the battle in the plaza, they might be having a few extra guys maintaining the guard. In addition, if they call for reinforcements, we don't want to wait too long. Can we anticipate any archers? Can we... What are yes. we going to be doing? <laughs> we just charge it in. Or I mean, we stealth, stealth could be our friend. Stealth? It is we, night, we so, so and that was one of their purposes of waiting to the night, so you can have some advantage. But if you guys scroll to the right, you will find go, go, go. this section. I just love oh, you can control your character with the fucking arrow keys. <laughs> <laughs> go, Jojo, go. <laughs> oh, I can with the arrow keys? Wait, no, I can't. What? Oh, wait, I can. Holy crap. 
It's amazing. Oh, yeah, it's um, not, not practical at all. Where, where are we coming in from now? The, the south. south. The south? Okay. okay. <laughs> How do you... I can't turn, though, can I? That would be really sweet. No, you have to still turn your character around, make your mouse. Dang. Feels bad. Okay, you guys have some support in this battle. I do love support. I turn them all to face in the correct direction. Does the fact that it's nighttime, is that going to have an impact on our roles at all? Uh, if you are in complete darkness, you do end up with disadvantage, but this is not complete darkness. There's enough light to see. Um, we have see starlight. You have starlight and moonlight, um, so it's, you're not completely blind. Um, like also, moon? none of us are ranged Half characters. Moon? Yeah, if you had ranged, then I would give you some effects. But I mean, this one archer guy in the middle, he's probably gonna have a, he's probably gonna have a hard time. But looks like all these guys are crossbows, uh, the guards. So that's good. Yeah. So as you're, uh, this whole section of the city is pretty much ruins. This is the exterior of the city. This is not where the most of the people live. So this this makeshift prison, it was intentionally built away from the major populated portion of the city. It's like built out of an old set of just stone walls and they've just constructed some wooden palace, or some, not palisade, well, yeah, it was a palisade out of, uh, you can't really see it from this distance, but yeah, once you guys get close, it'll make more sense. I'm, so um, are those guys, um, it, that is a raised platform that's about 10 feet off the ground. And then this one is also pretty high, too, as a tower? That's a little tower, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, do we just and, try and scale those things to get to them? I mean... <laughs> I mean so, on the on the left, there is a ladder that goes up to it. Ah, uh, I see. What and about to this now, raised platform right here? They're probably There's a ladder there. that goes up to there, too. Okay, cool. Uh, well, there you go. Aren't ladders a wonderful invention? Yes, yes they are. Okay, so. How do you guys approach this? Uh, so, the watchtower so, over here, is that, a, is that a rope tower? Or a rope ladder? Or is it like a wood ladder? Yes. Line? So, as far as yeah, what we can yeah, see yeah. on the actual screen is as far as our characters can see. I'm, I'm just having a hard time gauging it for... Yeah, so, uh, on this, these guys up here on the right, they have a torch that makes them easily visible. Same with this guy at the tower. There's a torch up on the tower. Um, there, You do see some light coming from around a corner a bit beyond that, but you can't see any other people. Um, first things first, I'm going to use um, basic tactics on myself. Okay. So, uh, in your bonuses and effects section... Up near the top, you can put that you have a one. Well, you can get a plus one on any d20 roll. I'm sorry. Go to. There. This is on your character sheet. Top middle. Oh, oh, okay. That's where it. So. You have you at any on any d twenty roll. You can give yourself a plus one. Uh, you can give this to you after you roll, if you think that you're not high enough. Maybe you guys should be adding your temp HP in here. You don't need to do it on there because it it comes and goes. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, why is it here? This here? Because it. I added so mine. If you want to keep track of it there, you can. Go ahead, but... So what is you're about to go to battle, there's not much of a reason. Yeah, uh, Sprite, so I'm not worried about it. All right, so right I, just have, I just have to just remember to add one to all my things, or is there something... No, like so you can only add one to one roll, not to all of them. Yeah, just a single roll. Oh. So, unfortunately, at the moment, because you only have a mind of one, tactics is not very strong. So, to the left of the two guys, is this, just a, is this just a broken wall? So, yeah, that is a demolished pile of stones. Okay, and is there anything over here? Or do we need to, like, move over to the seed that way? Uh, 
There's, or, is, or is there nothing there? The main structure is straight ahead. Uh, there's just not much in that direction. Like here? So there, yes. wouldn't, so there wouldn't be like an alternate path. There's like some other way to try to get into the... Uh, I mean, you can try if you want. <laughs> I mean, I would, I, would just, I would just like move here, see if I see anything. If not, I'd just go back. Okay, go ahead and move yourself over there. All right, let me just... Uh... Take a stroll. Oh, right here should be fine. Looks like a tree. Okay, hold on. So from there, you can see. This is it. Is this supposed to be a tree or a shadow that I'm on right now? That's a tree. I mean, it. Okay, yeah. I'm just on top yeah, of it, yeah. so it looks I... weird. <laughs> just think of you being under a tree. Of course. So okay. this is the edge of the building that you're seeing over here. Uh, is this broken wall scalable? Uh, it would. It would be like. Do difficult. It would be difficult terrain, yeah. but yes. Okay. It, it's this. It won't get you high enough to get up on the. Well, you might be able to jump and grab onto the platform and pull yourself up, but. You're not just going to be able to like step onto it or anything. It's a bit risky at level one. Let's uh, not do that. Just wanted, to, just wanted to get more of the more of the map viewable. Yeah. Okay. So the guy, you, one of the mercy or one of the militia guys that came with you does have a bow, and he's yes. sort of creeping up, ready to initiate combat. So everybody get into their positions that they want to be in. Okie dokie. I mean, uh, I mean, I can just get up as close as I want, right? <laughs> well, no, no. So if you want you to try getting that. close... <laughs> whoa, whoa. Let me just climb up on this platform. I mean... <laughs> uh, you, what you should probably do is just cut off that rope ladder. Well, just tell me how far I can get. Leave him, I'll leave just, him up I'll there. So, right now you would be a little bit too close. If you if you go to the opposite side of that tree where the archer is, then you'll be fine. Uh, like this one? So, like two spaces down. Yeah, that's fine. Yo, if we, right we kill this man, we could use his weapon. If you have proficiency in crossbows, then by all means. I mean... Oh, there's a dude! Is that a dude? You, know, you, make, you make a good point, actually. Oh. <laughs> you don't actually see that guy. <laughs> I kind of forgot that you may need permission. This is where having a with his bow would be really handy. Once you did yes. that down, bow would be in the tower. I wish Erg wasn't so stupid because he would tell this guy not to shoot because we have the element of surprise and we can just try and get to the ladders and then initiate combat. But Erg's not that smart, so okay. he's not going to well, tell him. Okay, all um, of you guys are getting a surprise round. Okay. Well, Earth can't do right shit now. from down here. Come on. <laughs> just calm down. We have to continue to push up. So, I probably should have, we probably should have tried to, as we're getting close, try to discuss a, like a, a, a battle plan. One of us can pretend we're injured and try and get them to come help. Oh. <laughs> ah, my yeah. leg! Maybe if we had guard armor. <laughs> You said the um, ladder for the tower is on this side? This side. Yeah. Or if you zoom in a little bit, you can see it. Oh, okay. okay, I see it, yeah. All right. I mean, if you could stealth your way up to the base of the tower, I doubt he'll see you. At the base yeah. of this wall. Okay. So, just... I think, I think we're good. Go ahead and roll initiative, and let's uh, decide... How this works. A. A. Holy. Good initiative oh, yeah. today. Oh my god. And then fucking oh, oh, myth oh, deciding. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck your good oh, initiative. <laughs> Today's gonna be fun. Yesterday, like, nobody roll above a 10 or something like that, basically. Oh, yeah. Or last time. I thought there was a quick. Once or twice. All I remember is they all went. Like before me, basically. Why does my the, uh, turn the, order the, say there aren't currently any tokens on this page? 
because I just removed all of the other ones for some reason. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blizzard didn't roll so well. No, I haven't had oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the mercenaries. Oh, we're in luck, boys. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I didn't know you even noticed that three of you guys got. I know, one right? Is, That's yeah, what I was thinking. Close one. And then you also got 20. Oh no, that's <laughs> Insta kill. Oh yeah, Erg is the first man. Erg's so fast. Look at him go. Shoo! <laughs> well, three of us got 20. I know, yeah. I just I just got the lucky draw first. Have to roll 20. Oh. Okay, uh, so. I get it, roll 20. Combat <laughs> is starting. Okay, what the So, Erg, you move first. I'll go ahead. You and see dash. the archer beside you drawing back his bow, about to fire. He just dashes for this ladder. So, how far is it? I mean, is that far? Can he get to it and get up there? That's sixty go, feet. Can Can you go underneath that, man? Oh yeah. Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's I'd, I'd allow going underneath it. I mean, look at the columns. They're right here, here, here. Wherever you're clicking, we don't know. Okay, there we go. <laughs> those are, yeah, I'm not holding long enough, but those columns are, with, I mean. Like dash, you can only go to 50. <laughs> Earth oh, just going to tear the columns out, collapse. You would have to double dash to get there. Oh, well, if and he double dashed, he water. couldn't actually climb up, could he? No, you would need movement to climb up. <laughs> okay, well, how much, how does climbing up ladders work, actually, for this? I don't know. You're climbing up 10 feet, it takes 10 feet of movement. Oh, oh, okay. So it's a raised platform, ten feet in the air. So yes, if I dash this turn and wait, I could yeah. If I double dashed, I'd make it up there. You would make it to the bottom of the ladder. I thought the that bottom of the ladder is sixty feet. It's not. It's not a straight shot because you have to go. You have to go up, and then you. Have he to can go, go underneath it. It's a raised okay. platform. What's my movement? Assume he has to get spotted. Well, yeah. You know. What's my movement again? I don't. Uh, I mean, called for what I assume is food. Well, I'm just saying, if it's 25, wait, a double dash, doesn't that... Okay, so you dash as an action to double your movement. Mm -hmm. When you dash as a bonus action, you only get plus 10. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Nah, he's just going to move to 50. Do that, he's just going to move to 50. It does say two stamina if you do that, yeah. One stamina for each way. So you move 50 feet. Yep, which is right here. You called for food. Any of these. I mean, I guess, actually, he'll just stay under the platform, because fuck that. I mean... That works too. Like right here. Okay. <laughs> Shane. Is this is this is this a tree or a bush? Tree. Uh, it's a tree. Okay. Well, one, two, three. Right, just at the edge of the tree, and I had my turn. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Zero. I will. Can I stand underneath this platform, or is it, like, more solid? So I would consider underneath this platform to be difficult terrain. Uh, I think it's fine. For these three um, hexes that are completely, or these four hexes that are pretty much completely part of it, those four hexes I would consider difficult terrain. Okay. I want to move up to there, then in. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Okay, mercenaries are up. Uh, this is a surprise round, so they don't go. Tracing? I'm going to dash and get right there. Okay. Yum. So the militia go. This guy, the archer, takes a shot. At one of the guys up there, he misses. <laughs> of course, he misses. Yeah. So these guys, bam, bam. these guys get whoa. Okay. 
I guess there. This guy goes there. This guy goes there. These three down here. Get up to about there. And we're back to Erg. Ooh. All right. Well, Erg can scale, right? Oh, wait. I thought that... Oh, I thought that since they only got one... All right. I, since we only got one surprise round, I didn't realize we were going to be able to go first before them afterwards. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think yeah, about so that. So after the surprise round, we go to normal initiative order. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't have moved here then in that case, but whatever. Well, it sucks for you. Yeah. Well, now you know. Yeah, you thank, thank you, you for that. You thank you. Climb the ladder, that's about it. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So he can he can dash up there, right? So fifty feet wouldn't take him. This is fifteen to get up, so twenty five to get uh, up to height, and then he can move and attack this guy, right? He can do all that. Uh, dash. You would have a bu you would you would have used your action to do that. Yeah, that's well, fine. Offhand attack. No, you could get there with you could get there with a bonus action dash. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, it doesn't. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, because and then he could make the attack with. Yes. It it doesn't matter if it's an offhand or regular, right? Though because is he's so just got two clubs. So your offhand, but your offhand will do a little bit less damage. Even if it's oh, I thought that hmm. Okay, I didn't realize. Would an offhand attack count as a bonus attack? Yes. So you use your bonus action to do your bonus attack. Okay, then I'll just use my regular attack, of course. Regular attack. Club attack. Bam. Does he hit? So, no, this guy sees you coming up behind him and you manage to... Maybe you're just a little bit... You you like just climb up the ladder and you kind of lunge at him. <laughs> maybe, maybe you just pull like three inches short. Like you don't quite get close enough to him and you just... Erg tired, air. man. Erg <laughs> just ran lots of distance and climbed very very fast i'm gonna take one stamina for the dash both yeah. this turn and last turn if you do oh yeah 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 thank you for that uh okay shane are you back yet doesn't look like it okay jojo go ahead all righty uh so it's this one's also 10 feet right in front yeah the ladder okay so it's 10 15 with the terrain or so, 15 or 20 with difficult terrain? Uh, going into the difficult terrain takes t uh, double movement, so you, that'll be 10, and then another 5. Moving out of the difficult terrain does not take double. And then so it takes 15 20. to get to the ladder, if you go okay. like that. And then 10 to get up. Does that put me here or here? That or puts here? you on the top of the ladder. You don't go to the, either of the other places. So. You block the ladder for me, you son of a bitch. Okay, I'll take a bonus dash over here. Okay. And you have an action still? Yep. I'm gonna punch. Oh, you punch. hit. Nice. Give that guy a nice fist to the jaw. Bam! Damage punch. Surrender now, you fiend! Bastard. <laughs> or to use fiend, I can't say fiend again. <laughs> Jojo does not use repeated vocabulary. Not, not that quick. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like Shane would have gotten into combat this turn anyway, so I'm just going to let him move when he gets back. So, it's the mercenaries first. So this guy that just had you climb up behind him er, <laughs> is like, what the fuck did this guy come from? He's going to step back and give you an attack of opportunity. I just love him, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, but he doesn't even see you until you <laughs> swing right behind his head. And miss him. <laughs> so and just completely whiffed. So just club attack, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, he missed well, You could have done reactions and then said, but it's the same thing. Okay. So he will shoot you with crossbow. Does a 15 hit? If it matches, does it hit? Or I yes. don't know. Okay, let me if see. If it matches, it hits. I honestly don't know what it is. So my AC is. Is it the one right next to my armor that I should No, it's the one top right. You have 13. 13. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's me. It's bad. There's no okay. disadvantage for trying to use a crossbow that close. He, he, that's why he backed away and gave the attack of opportunity. As long as you're not adjacent, <laughs> then you don't have disadvantage. 
Um, unless the guy has a, like a pole arm. Gotcha. That's why he stepped back and gave an uh, attack of opportunity. The other guy will also take a crossbow at you oh. for another four damage. Erg's not having a very good day so far. Erg, the pincushion. Yeah. Okay. Well, this everybody just had just to eating. go to the other side. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to just fire at you point blank, JoJo. He has disadvantage, so 14 is what he hits. Okay. And now you start hearing some other sounds from further inside the camp. Uh, nobody yes. comes out yet. So at the moment... How do they know, though? Because nothing's been said. The guards haven't said anything. It's just been some crossbow shots, which are very quiet. There hasn't been any, like, sounds of battle. And nobody's even hit anybody yet except for crossbows, which is so <laughs> quiet. And Jojo <laughs> punching the guy in the face. Yeah, but unless you know, you're, you're Batman and you're Adam West Batman, you're ah, not very yeah, I know. loud. <laughs> I was just trying to add. It's all been pretty quiet. Yeah. Somewhere. Nobody's so, yelled anything, but there's yeah. definitely been hurried footsteps, some clanking of feet oh, on true. wood, and it's obvious that something's going on. And it's Maybe not like these people are 150 feet away. <laughs> okay, Grayson, you're up. All right, can I get up? You there? can definitely hear that there are people. Yes. I can get up. Grab any equipment and stuff. Uh, I don't know if this counts as difficult terrain, but if... No, it doesn't. Okay, so then. Five doesn't. Get, get, get to there. And then get ten to up. 25. 25 to get to there, yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, I'll just use regular attack. Because I can't charge during all that because I'm going up a no. ladder, right? Okay, I thought not. I'm <laughs> charging up a ladder. I am very vigorously <laughs> climbing that ladder. <laughs> oh, well. The amount of upper body strength required. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, You're a little tired after that ladder climb, apparently. Evidently. <laughs> <laughs> or this archer is just amazing. It's two versus one. You should give up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this archer is going to take a shot at one of the guys near Erg. The militia. He Ooh. will miss again. Oh. oh, the militia archer, yeah. That's yeah. So bad. You should feel bad. Okay, 35 from there. So one of these guys is going to climb up the ladder behind you, Erg. He doesn't quite have enough movement to go past you, though. Mm-hmm. Erg, meat shield. Meat shield. He's, he's going to... He, he might die. But he's a meat shield for now. Well, I mean, the good news is that if guys are going to come in, they'll come in uh, from this ladder, and so they won't be getting to Erg first. They'll getting, be getting to these other okay, guys. Okay, so That's uh, cool. you'll, you'll actually be able to see that plainly. That ladder is actually just leaned up against the side of the building. It doesn't go anywhere. Oh, okay. Rip. Why is there a ladder here, then? Well, so Erg wouldn't have noticed this, so I'm not going to explain it yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Wolfpack, are you back yet? No, he's still going. Fucking wolf pack. Shane's over here sucking his thumb while all this. Just move him forward him. 25 feet, please. Yeah, really. I mean, just, I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah, he's taller than the rest of us. So that way he doesn't use up any stamina or anything. I guess he has a 20 movement speed, so that's two turns. So I'll just move him 20 twice. He's so slow. <laughs> Why did he have. God damn. I'm think, thinking no agility. Uh, he this this two round. I'll just wait until yeah. whether he comes back or not before moving him again. Erg, you're up again. Okay, I mean Erg was gonna go right over here, uh, so that he'll be right next to the both of them, and then he's going to, uh, I guess it, uh, yeah, this guy for sure, the guy on the right. Okay. And he'll do that with both his attacks, most likely. So, club attack. Mm. Hey, he got a hit. Found that time. He got a hit. And then, uh, is it bonus actions offhand club attack? Yeah. Yes. Hey, crit. Crit, okay. Roll another 1d6. So, just uh, slash, slash R. Slash R, 1d6. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> <laughs> the most pointless crit. Minimum damage crit. Does that also go to stamina, though? No, it doesn't take any stamina. Uh, well, no, the, it has the three, but the crit bonus damage... You don't get bonus stamina damage. Okay. But uh, this guy doesn't have all that much stamina left anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shane would go... JoJo. We'll come back to Shane if he gets here or not. Yep. And a punch. Yeah, you hit him. Right. <laughs> Well and steady, and one punch at a time. You know, just just by the way, JoJo, you have an offhand unarmed attack that you can make, right? right? right. And yep. he hits all yeah. Okay. Last time I just used my bonus action to dash to move. Oh, you're right. Okay. I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, let's see. This guy is pretty beat up. Yeah. Yeah. JoJo just punched him beat. very, very hard. Twice. Three times, actually. Yeah. Okay, so now at this point, you're going to have some of the other guys coming out. 35. I'm back. Welcome back. Okay, Hello. Missed, you missed one of your turns, so we just moved you 20. Oh, that's fine. That's all I could do. Yeah. Okay. Well, you could have dashed, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was hoping you would just move me 20 feet and that would be it. Okay, so this crossbow guy that comes out is going to shoot at you from behind, Jojo. And critically fails. <laughs> he slips on the muddy shoot ground. Jojo's crossbows. Did you like, just move me? Like... Not yet. Yeah, you'll get turned right after the mercenaries. Okay, I was just going to move 20 feet and that was it. Okay, well, in that case, go ahead. One, two, three, four. Okay, there you go. Let me. I think I got this guy if you want to move somewhere else, Oku. Okay. Yeah, I was going to use my action to hit him and then move. Maybe if I can get lucky and kill him, and I won't have to worry about it, I got attack of opportunity. So that's why I'm going to try to hit him first. Right. Makes sense. Pass on this. And then some guys come out over here. He's an archer. Does he get tax of opportunity to move out? Uh, yeah, he, would, he could get an unarmed attack of opportunity. He doesn't have a nice little knifey thing. But he may not be proficient in that. <laughs> yeah, I don't well, think he punches like JoJo punches. <laughs> unlikely, unlikely. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. These crossbow guys next to Erg will both try to step away. So this guy on the left steps away first. Attack you attack with him with an... Well, okay. I can't do both, can I? You all, Yeah, you only get one. Damn, I was hoping I could get both. That's why I put myself here. Can the other guy back? Okay, they're both moving that way. Like, so do you wish for <laughs> an attack opportunity? Dang. Well, I'm, I'm going to do the one that, that's damaged the most. I wouldn't have put myself in this position, uh, except I thought that I could do it against both. So there is a higher level skill that you can get that lets you do it multiple times, but you don't have that yet. Yeah, I, I just did it against the guy with the most damage so far. So he's, that's he's, that's that's stamina. Well, he, that doesn't matter, right? He's probably completely out of stamina at this point. <laughs> probably. Okay. Well, you might be close to the point to where um, the extra stand, a stand damage guy should go. Yeah, to so your bludgeons are going to be extra effective from now on. <laughs> but now they both uh, they both take a crossbow shot at you. That hits. Yep. Oh, damn. That misses. Oh, that doesn't. Three damage, that's not that bad. That's a lot better than before. Yeah. There he's having a hard time. Okay, and this crossbow guy up in the tower is going to try to point blank you again, Jojo. Yeah, this guy up here needs yep. to start pulling mm, his weight, is... man, and this freaking archer needs to hit his shots. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible. I can't wait for okay. him to get a critical miss and hit you. Oh, yeah, that would be great. I just get hit in the head, Erg's out. He's done. He's dead. <laughs> Everybody welcome Theodore, good body. Ooh, crit. Oh, that was much. I roll a uh, 1d6, you said? D8. It's your damage. For you, a 28. Nice. It's your damage dice again, basically. Speaking of, since I don't have damage dice, 
fucking two. Uh, work with me? Is it just four again? Read what I posted in System Chat earlier, like just before the uh, session. <laughs> I realized that same issue, like an hour or an hour and a half ago. Oh, well, I'm oh. going to. I'm going to climb down. Myth, can I climb down to right here, or is he? Or is that mercenary? He's not blocking me? it. You can. You can go there. So it'll take five and then ten to climb down and then five, so twenty feet of movement to get to here. Okay. Okay. As you do that, he will take an offhand attack of opportunity on you. Alright, let's see if we can hit it. That's a miss. Okay. Alright, so my action was hit. Bonus action is going to be a shield bash on that asshole. Okay. That's it. What's blue damage represent? Uh, blue means one you had one of your dice was minimum, one of your dice was maximum. Oh, uh, okay. It doesn't mean much for damage rolls. Um, okay. Uh, that's it for that, I guess. Or do you want to move anywhere else? Uh, no, I, I'm going to stay right there. I can't really move anywhere else. Okay. So it's the militia's turn. This arrow guy will try to support you again, Erg. Let's see if third time's the charm. He hey! Crits. <laughs> easy peasy. Jump. 11 damage. Okay. Uh, and then these guys. Fight, 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 fight. Uh, does that guy have enough movement? He'll do a bonus dash. Okay, this guy. Oh, well, that's a hit. That's also a hit. These guys are doing good. That's a miss. That's a hit. I and then this guy on the archer. Yeah. We'll hit the archer. We're walking 16 damage. 2d8 damage, guys? Holy! Yep. Someone has a mighty grasp. No, With just a, a tier 2 weapon. Oh. With a plus 6 fucking damage of it? Is that the advantage of axes? <laughs> axes do good damage. Okay, Erg, back to you. Okay, uh, wait, what about this dude? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot there. about him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just sits there. <laughs> 15, 20. Yeah, he'd make it there. Ooh. Tries to leave you space as he's standing half off the platform. <laughs> Easy peasy. He misses. Okay, now it's your word. Okay. Erg's gonna go, I guess, uh, over here. Okay. And, uh, uh, oh, so this guy didn't attack? He's your. He did it, he missed. Oh, he missed, okay, I missed that. Alright, well, he'll att the Erg will attack, then Erg will attack this guy down here. One with the most damage. Let's see. As a miss, you can roll your offhand one. Feels weird that we have lower AC than these guards. Well, as you can notice, most armor. of them have chainmail. Uh huh. Is that also? I guess I'll have to get yes. some of that, huh? I have, uh, yeah, I think I have medium armor. So they probably have higher dexterity. Or I mean, you know, I never said these guys were level one. 
Okay, I, I rolled my offhand. Oh, uh, oh, you hit. Nice. 15 is what you needed. Yay. <laughs> you put him down to one hit point? Feels bad. Even man. with the sand damage? Yeah, even with the, He had nine hit points, so you did eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> what a scrub. Shane, you breaking your ass in here and involves. Shane, you're up. Wolf back. You dead again? He died. Rip. Oh, he's moving. Can't hear him. Do you not have dash? No, I don't think he even has dash. Oh my god, Wolfhack. When you level up, that's the first <laughs> thing you better fucking take is dash. Sure, my guy. Just one point in ability. So Just one... <laughs> Fucking, you only need, you have, you allow three skills, man, in agility. Hey, my guy, look. <laughs> some, some, some choices were made, all right, that I'm regretting so, now, but it's still very poor choices. Little, Seems like a good idea downward. at the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who needs to be fast? I'm only a melee, yeah, yeah. right? I don't, I don't need to be close. close. I'll let them come to me. What if they have uh, bows and arrows? Uh, die hide. <laughs> I don't have a shield, okay. Judge, direct Empath. this guy's face. Yep. In Pathfinder, fucking one of my characters. Let's just do the offhand attack. A. You got it. Fuck. Oh, well. oh, no. He's not dead. <laughs> oh, it doesn't kill him? Fuck. Well, that was a waste of an action. Should the main hand. Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh, this is karma right oh, here. Yeah. I got karma. try to optimize my turn and kill him and be able to do Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> I actually hat. didn't even need to, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that's my turn. Okay, mercenaries. So, this one of the crossbow guys is going to back away from you again, Eric. Do you uh, offer oh, tag of opportunity on him? Well, uh, I guess you're doing him first. Uh, yeah, yeah, I will, because the other guy can do an okay. attack of opportunity on the other dude. So, yeah, I'll do that. Smart call. Fucking. My path, yeah, I think yeah, there's yes. a couple people who have 20 move speed, and then there's and my he misses anyway, so it doesn't speed. matter. Rip. And he, I think this guy's gonna try to be optimistic and back away. We'll see. Hobble so confident, yeah. <laughs> and he dies. <laughs> Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, other mercenaries. This guy in the thick of things will attack the guy that shield bashed him. That's a Rex Rob. Pretty much a miss, yeah. I think it is. Uh, That's a miss. Crossbow guy's going to try to back up a little bit. Give this guy an attack opportunity. Which he gets hit for before retaliating with a crossbow shot, which he misses. Whoop. This other axeman's going to hit you from the side, Tracen. Pretty sure that hits you. Yeah. And then the sword guy's going to go after Tra Shane. You'll finally be involved in combat. Pretty sure that misses you. Okay, so at this point. Some more voices from inside the uh, area, and a few more people show up. Sword guy over here. And an axe guy over here. And an axe guy down here, who's going to make it to Shane and attack him. That's another miss. And then another sword guy that doesn't quite get to anybody. Uh... Oh, this guy tries to point blank you again, Jojo. Yep. They are oh, yes. How is that man not dead yet? Because Jojo missed. I got him with the offhand attack and it didn't. It's like one health too many. Power damage. And. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so this crossbow guy never actually fired at you, Jojo. Uh, Erg, so. He didn't fire at you. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he just backed away, and I forgot to make him fire. So he hits you for another eight. Feels bad. Her getting shredded over there. Yeah. Tracing, you're up. That's what happens when your AC sucks. 
And you're a uh, frontliner? Yeah. I think I'm going to... Kind of surround. Can I use flanking? Yeah. Can I use flanking damage as a bonus attack or is it a regular attack? Regular action. Flanking dodge is an action. As an action? Okay. Uh, no, I'll save that. For, I'll try to save some stamina because I'm going to need it later. All right, I'm just going to do a regular attack to um, the guy who actually hit me. Okay. So is that hit? Which guy were you aiming at for? The axe. Okay. Yeah. Uh. That. Yeah. That hits. Minus seven. Do you show bash or anything? Uh. No. Okay. So the militia. This archer is going to take. He's going to move up a bit to get closer to the combat, but he's still going to shoot at the guy up there. He misses. This guy's a terrible oh, archer. <laughs> He's literally like the no, worst. He gets a He's plus a five, okay? He gets a plus five. And he's just been rolling badly. He's just shooting upward. He's a terrible archer. It's an awkward angle. Need well. you replace him, man. Give him a sword. Get somebody else to use that bow. <laughs> 11 damage to him. Er could probably shoot better than this guy, jeez. Does nine damage to him, that guy's looking worse for wear. That's a miss. This guy is actually going to break off and head up here to support his other guy, taking an attack of opportunity. Which hits this guy for nine. But he gets up here and attacks this other guy. For seven. And then this guy. For eight. Okay. Back to Erg. Okay. Well, Erg's gonna move over. Oh here. no, sorry, this guy next to you actually moves up. I forgot about him again. <laughs> it's poor dude, man. He and he has many forgetful. Okay, you're up now. Forgettable. Erg uses both of his attacks. Misses. That's a miss. Of course. Hits. And you hit with the offhand. Hmm. Okay. Shane. Uh, if I go if I go into a stance, does that count as my turn? It counts as your action. Okay. We'll do attack. You can with a bonus action, which I believe you have a bonus action attack. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to go into... <clears throat> I have to attack second, right? Oh, sorry. No, you don't have a bonus action attack. You're uh, using well, a scimitar. I forgot. I slip into defensive stance, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, does, does it cost me a stamina it now does. or next turn? Okay, I'll just check it. Yeah, on activation. Oh, but everybody has disadvantage against you, so. Well, I also have disadvantage against them, which is weird, but if I, I get a plus one to my AC. Yeah. What is worth? The fuck. Oh. Okay, there you go. Jojo. Come on, Dr. Try. There we go. Fucking okay, damn. you got him. <laughs> Nine damage. Did you attack with both on this guy? Yes, I did. First one fucking miss. Oh, okay. You know, first. Right, if, you, if you can low-key just jump off the tower and land on one of these guys, that's great. Can he? That'd be my next turn, though. Probably assume it would take an action to, like, accurately try and jump on them. Let it happen. Just not right now. Yeah. Maybe. I can't do anything else. I'm going to take fall damage from that man. If he would try to jump and land on that dude? Uh, not from 10 feet up, no. Okay. Hey! This is great. Would he gain attack? Would he get advantage on his attack? If he had the skill charge, I would let him charge downward on him. Oh, you guys land. do that? Oh, damn! I would have. God he, damn! I would have used charge. On <laughs> if, he, if he lands on this guy, that guy's gonna be prone. Which makes him. I, I've got a plan. I got a plan. You fuck. 
But that's my turn, so. This is why you ask before you do anything with myth. Definitely okay, so this uh, this crossbow guy next to you, Erg, and this random militia guy is going to disengage, jump off the tower, or jump off the platform, and will be running or using a bonus dash to get over here. Sniped by mm. the crossbow guy who who won't be looking. It'll be amazing. And he is attackable from two attacks of opportunity. He disengaged. Oh, he disengaged. Okay. Damn, he didn't have enough stamina damage to him. Feels bad. Not quite. He he's very low though. <laughs> he almost can't do anything. Yeah. Which mercenary swinging that sword now? What was that? Which mercenary swinging? No, sorry, up here. Yeah. Eric is sad. That guy. I saw his health bar drop. So. That's a mess. Axe guy. Chris, this guy. A whopping 15 damage. 16 damage. A whopping damage. And this sword guy goes after you, Trayson. Misses. This axe guy is also going after you. 15, is that it? Okay. Yeah. It's because it matches it going forward, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, the sword guy is also going to come around the corner, the uh, edge of that other guy, and swing at you. Misses. And this is the guy's attacking you, Shane. That's a six, he misses. Swordsman misses as well. Aha! Even without the disadvantage, they would have missed. But haha, still! This crossbow guy backs up a little bit and aims for this one. Getting him for low damage. And now another crossbow guy comes out of the shadows. He doesn't really have good angles on anybody, although he will turn and actually aim at JoJo because he's exposed. Sure. That hits. And then another swords guy, swordsman comes out here, but he can't make it to anybody. It does love his big fights. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to make this easy on you guys, although you... That's why I gave you allies, man. Yeah. It's, it's... So, oh, yeah. you know, this, this is definitely more than as many as you were told to expect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, that's it for this. Tracen, you're up. Alright, let's see. I'm going to attack the weakest one try to finish him off. That's usually a good idea. Indeed. Hit. You hit him and kill him. Cool. Then for my bonus action, I'm going to use second win. Okay. You regain a few hit points. I'm automatic four, right? Yes. Just as high as your vitality, and your vitality is four. Okay. So once you get your vitality higher, you'll get more hit points. Gotcha. Alright, that should be it for me. Okay. Militia are up. The, he finishes guys off and push up. Yeah. The archer over here will continue to move forward and he's gonna take a shot at the crossbow guy that ran away. Missing. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is the anti gem. I'll play the bowman, Jesus Christ. So this guy comes up beside you, Trace, and attacks the guy attacking you. And hits him for 13. Wow. Thank you, fam. Jeez. While these two other guys are ganging up on this one last one. Hits him for 12. And actually, that's perfectly enough to kill him. So this other guy... Going to run up here. Match these guys. He's going to attack. Missing. This guy beside him attacks. Hits for 15. What do they have, cleave? Huh? Or, like, how are they able to hit multiple people? No, they're not. Is that, is that an axeman? Oh. No, there's multiple axemen. Oh, right now, okay. there's three axemen on the field. Gosh, I thought it was like one guy getting okay. That's all of them. 
Erg, you're up. Oh no, the guy beside you, Erg. I can always forget about this guy. Yeah, this guy's just who knows. Oh, he can who jump off. Guy? He's fine. Yeah, they'll jump off. You don't get any damage from ten fucking feet. Oh, let him be a bitch. <laughs> okay, just let the other guy do it. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's dead. <laughs> Hello. So, is there point any point in Erg looting this body, or is she just... <laughs> I mean, it's gonna take some time. Damn it! All right, fine. Erg's just gonna jump down too. Okay, so Erg will actually go help his allies instead of just sitting there. And... Well, because he also he wants to him. kill more people so he can loot more. So, I mean, you know. Okay, I'll accept it. Yeah. Where's the uh? Okay, ruler. Or Erg die. So he can make it all the way to him again. Sweet. If you bonus dash. action dash, yeah. Yeah. Bonus action dash, yeah. Okay, okay that's going to be one stamina. That's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, i got to switch back to the select thing. There we go. All right. Bonk. Miss. You miss. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Uh, this is why you need charge, Erg. <laughs> I mean, Shane, that's fair, but you can't get it yet. Oh, one sec. So, I mean, you can say that, but it's not like I have uh, a choice. You might want to hold your turn until after mine. Yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, I'll just do or that. Or you can just attack the guy I'll to your left. It doesn't hurt just to attack I'm him. I'm in defensive stance. Yeah. All my attacks are at a disadvantage. So why not just throw attack him at the left? I think I was from... Well, I mean, I was going to attack the guy on the right. Can you can you like ready his action for when Jojo does his movie? Then does his. He can. Pretty sure, pretty sure I can. Let's yeah. do that. Right, Jojo, do your thing. What what action are you holding? So if you ready an action, you need to state what it is. Oh. If you want to delay your turn, that will require you to wait until the end of the round. Oh. Which will be after the militia move. And that Jojo lands on this guy, and I can attack him while he's down. Okay. Okay. Jojo. So can I jump off and grapple him? Kind of do like a fucking yeah. WWE shit. I mean, it might not be that exciting, but yeah. So <laughs> you, you gotta grapple him. I've got both a bonus action and an action worth of grappling here, so I want to jump down and grapple both of them. Uh, can you do that? Do you have yes, combat grapple? Yes, I do. Uh, yes, you do. <laughs> so yes, you can. Okay, so. And that's just like. Just, just put yourself there, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they will both make. Is vitality saves. Girl. Well, this axe guy makes it. He doesn't gain an advantage from attacking him from up top, but they won't expect it. No. I tried to go 13. Yeah. Is that a fail? Is it what is it? My 10 plus my vitality? No, it's 8 plus your vitality, and that's so oh. he barely makes it. So both these guys Grapple make is it. so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Never grappling again. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, spend two stamina, though. Yep. Well, that was a good <laughs> That was a very effective turn. Uh, I don't think I've, I've successfully grappled one person. No, you successfully grappled that one guy who didn't get stabbed in your arm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. It's a successful yeah. grapple. The grapple was successful. That's why I said I successfully grappled one person. I thought you so, said you said you successfully grappled anybody. This crossbow guy is going to back away from you again, Erg, giving you an attack of opportunity. This crossbow guy is a little bitch. He doesn't like Erg. Eight okay. damage and six stamina, so he's out of stamina. He is. Right. He has one stamina. Oh right. come on! <laughs> you said he was low. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. He. I, th I said low, seven was low, but yeah, I guess that's not quite low. Fine. Not yeah. Till, not till six. Correct. correct. Well, okay, he's targeting your erg. Gosh he's dang it, man! <laughs> <laughs> is erg got oh, second wind? No, what? No. Yes, you do. Yes, Wait, I do? Wait, I have second win. You better start yeah. healing yourself, or You're about to die. You should probably yeah. hide behind this guy. Yeah, I'll okay, probably so get a second win. Guys. But I have to wait till my turn to do it, so. Which is pretty damn soon. 
Well, I mean, you say that, but we have to go through all the, all the militia and the rest well, of the mercenaries. Well, misses. That can, can shoot you is this guy, realistically. So. That got hit. Well, no. The, the other militia men can shoot a militia, but, um, mercenary. Well, you're... Militia man here. Yeah, but militia man here. So. I didn't know it's that second one actually. I forgot. Both of these that. crossbow guys are targeting you, Jojo. Yeah, I told you. I have charge. Well, you should have said that you used it. No, I mean, oh. no, like he was telling me that you should. This is why you need charge. I have charge. I didn't so one that. of the crossbow guys hits you, Jojo, for five. In that case, this is why you should you should use charge. Is that better here? Damn. Charge. Okay. Oh, uh, so, is that attack at all? Uh, you're about to be. No, I oh, didn't even well. know I had charge. I I didn't realize. Oh, that. So I think that guy misses. Yeah. And then this other swordsman attacks Jojo, missing. So oh, no, no. axe guy attacking you, Tracen, missing. Sword guy turning to the guy who saved you. Or assisted, word. sorry, yeah. Basically okay. the same rules. So now another guy comes out of the shadows behind Jojo. Seriously? Oh, oh my god. Oh, uh, by the way, I called dibs on his longsword. Fuck everybody. <laughs> if we live that long. <laughs> I mean, we'll live. <laughs> and he attacks you, Jojo. He misses. Luckily. And then behind him comes another archer. He's up. Who targets this guy over here? It's getting a little crowded in this corner. Yes, this guy for six. Hurry! Utilize the bottleneck! <laughs> Tracing up. There's a bottleneck of bodies, man, not a bottleneck of terrain. So I, so I, so I wasn't attacked. Well, there is. If we you can get around one guy over here. If we can get here, here. I'm gonna try to here. do a thing since I basically just skipped the turn. My turn? Okay. Um, I'm going to scimitar attack the longsword dude next to me. Right. You oh. create the fail. I can't use my plus one to tactics to prevent that, can I? It will not prevent that, no. Fuck. You would want to use the tactics roll if you like if you roll like a fourteen and you need a fifteen. That is unfortunate. Or if you're like making a save and you're like one off or something. All right, and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to heal up again. Right. So can we can we make this bowman go first? <laughs> okay. Because he bowman. needs to, he needs to hit his shots. Yeah, he's going to target that crossbow guy one more time. Missing again. <laughs> this guy is so bad. He is man. man. He, worst archer I've ever seen. Jesus Christ. He needs to go. I don't know. Hide in a hole. Nice guy hits this guy for a lot. He's literally doing nothing. This guy comes up here. That guy, that man is about to die. He would. But he's a brave man. Crits the guy. Gee, okay, well, you know what? He's gonna go down as a hero. Yeah. Hopefully, he kills one. Oh Where's my god! Him? Leave him at one hit point. Fuck! Oh. He had ten hit points and he does nine damage. Oh no! Yes, and he had he had max stamina, huh? Well, he did uh, three turns ago. <laughs> it's, it's just these guys do. Hey, this guy just needs to. Do. This guy just needs to hit. It's all good. Well, he already attacked and did eleven damage. In that case, never mind. <laughs> okay, so he's got the above three them. crossbowmen who are ready to just fillet you. Missing. That guy hits for a whopping twenty damage, slicing this guy in half. Jesus. <laughs> wow. The spine and all. Yeah, right. two, two sevens plus six. Okay, that guy misses. Uh, and then this guy beside you, Erg, can he make it to anybody? Not really. Oh, use your dash, you wimp. Uh, he, he should, he should yeah, probably yeah, charge. He'll dash. He should probably charge the crossbow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 there you go. Bird needs the protection. Uh, hold on, let me double check. That guy, does he have a dash? He hasn't even or taken damage. He does not have charge, no. In fact, the uh, the, uh, the axe guys that do not have shields have 
they have a charge. Ah. But this guy with the shield does not have charge. Well, it does uh, damage anyway. Yes. And in fact, that puts him to zero standing. It does hey. two extra damage. <laughs> Perfect. In the Erg, finish him off. Oh, yeah, you know, Erg's going to use Erg charge for this. You probably won't get shot. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Just make sure you use your bonus damage to uh, heal up and then use your main attack. Finish him off. Charge! We're just going to turn this man into a stain on the wall. Ruthlessly charges at his opponent. <laughs> <laughs> no. over a rock. Just, just make a normal attack. Okay. Fine. Five. Action. Five. <laughs> Are you serious? You wow. simply fail. Are you serious? Face plant the, the wall, knocking himself out. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Today, Eric is having a bad day. You still have your bonus action. Heal, man, heal. Heal, man, heal. You're so Fine. Dead. You're so dead. Fine, Eric will heal. Oh, my God. Somebody's got to die, okay? Somebody has. So glad you're recording this. What do I use? It? Second wind? Is that a non contact? Yeah, second wind. Bonus. Bonus. Okay, that's it. I expect to die, and just the video turns to him opening up a porn tab. Oh. There we go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Obviously. Shame. All right, so. You've been sitting there, cowering at his. Is uh, delayed turn? Oh. Delayed? Yeah, and, he, was, uh, he was, um. He was delaying until the end. Of Right. Yeah, so he actually gets two turns right here, because he is at the top of the order and top and then he's in the bottom of the order. Sure. So damage. Can I, use a bonus, can I use a bonus action to switch to offensive stance? Yeah. That'll take one stamina. One. I know this is gonna be great. You realize you're gonna be stuck in offensive stance unless you find oh I guess back to back turns, never mind. That way if I get back to back turns and I fuck this guy. Right. It's actually really good when you're in the top of the initiative order to yes. get your turn for one turn to stay in yes defensive stance. Is. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, actions. We'll hand the tag, and let's hope I get a crit. Not a crit. Damage. Damage. Minimum damage. Minimum damage. Which one did you attack? Uh, the one on the right. Okay. You do four damage to him? Yes, well... Yeah, now your second you know, turn? <laughs> you know, we're going to do the same thing and hope for the best. Oh, uh, so close! Do more damage that time, though? Yes. <laughs> About your defensive stance? Uh, I don't think I can do that. You, you do have your sec your bonus action on your second turn. Well, I think I will. Okay. It does not take any stamina, because it's one minus one. Yes! <laughs> best move ever. Okay, so you're back in defensive stance. Jojo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm a Jojo. cowardly bitch. Can people attack while they're grappled? They have disadvantage on any attacks they make. Hmm. And attacks against them are at advantage. Yeah. And how often can you and use divine guidance? Trying to kill you. What was that? How often can you use divine guidance? Once per long rest. Uh. And you can use it after you roll. What does Divine Garden do again? It makes you succeed in But can I use it after they roll? I should have uh, Because it's do a what? grapple, right? They roll. Oh. Uh, you can't use it to prevent them from getting saved. Okay. And uh, then I'm just going to punch the shit out of this first guy. The, the damage guy. Yeah. Uh, I'll use... Divine guidance on that. <laughs> okay, so that does prevent you from going off balance. So just use yep. for that. So it's, you a do natural, it's a natural twenty anyway. No, because did it after it rolled, right? So. Oh, okay. Do you do your offhand attacks? Uh, yes. I'm gonna hit him as well. Make sure to give yourself plus one faith too for your divine guidance. Yes, because this is the first time you've used it. You get plus one faith. As you feel oh, the power of your hey. god assisting you in your punch to the face. You punch extra hard and extra accurately. <laughs> <laughs> my, 
like a breeze pushed my hand it, in the right it direction. It feels good too. Missing. It feels good. Like you were like, oh my god, that was a fist. <laughs> that <laughs> was a fist. That was. <laughs> my punch felt so strong. Amazing. And that, I guess, is my turn. I felt like I could punch any man with one punch. <laughs> okay, mercenaries are up. Okay, we're gonna start on the left. Axeman against Shane. Sure. He crits you. <gasps> no disadvantage. Disadvantage. Oh, uh, you are correct. Uh, right ha ha! The oh, sword fuck. guy against JoJo. Yeah, JoJo's not. Hey. Missing. Captain against JoJo. He was bl stunned. They're yeah. stunned by the awesome blow he just yeah. did. By <laughs> <laughs> they can't. They can't handle the boom. <laughs> that punch was so powerful. <laughs> they can't handle your face. They're just in awe, man. So these crossbow guys are trying to effectively get angles. This guy's going to come over here and turn that way. And then that guy has an angle. This guy's going to turn back this way. You know, this crossbowman should just shoot through his ally into, into the shield. Yeah, he's going thing. after this guy. Yeah. And this is that guy, this guy, goes. <laughs> Yo, shout out to that guy being it's super him. mighty. And then this guy has an angle on JoJo. Oh. Cats you for five, JoJo. Mm, JoJo. Axe guy against Tracen has advantage because you're off balance. Oh. Could you anyways? Uh, for an additional 1d8, so you take 12. Shit. Shit. That's a lot of damage. Sword guy attacks the mace guy next to you. Getting that person for four. You know, you know what I just realized? What? Bowman over here, despite the fact that he hasn't hit a shot. He hit one. He, okay, I wasn't here for that. So despite the fact that he hasn't hit a shot, he has not He has no shot. Kind of, of yeah, militia. There's a line of militia. <laughs> Okay, so this uh, crossbow guy is going to point blank at you, Erg. Critically fails. Easy peasy! Erg's in his hands. He has no stamina. Finish it. Okay, so this, uh, that's it for that. That would have so been if he rolled a one. So my back on balance, how does that work? Yeah. So it will take, I believe it's 10 feet of movement. That's fine. To regain your balance. Okay. Off balance. Yes, 10 feet. So I'm going to try to kill the weakest man. The man yeah. with one hit point. Yeah. You just need to touch him. And I miss. I'm going to heal. Okay. And then, so the militia are up. So this archer guy is going to give up on archery. He's going to dash over here. He doesn't quite have enough to get up the ladder. But he's got the high ground. He's heading in that direction. He thinks it'll be useful. Then the guy beside Tracen tries to finish off the weak guy. Yeah. And does. The other guy next to here who's very weak is uh, hesitating, but he's going to step forward against the archer. Wow, he really shouldn't have done that. Yeah, he's probably going to die. He's Any crack definitely, fails. Definitely, definitely going to die. <laughs> You probably, you, probably should, you probably should have had the weak guy attack first. Go up. I mean, he's a brave man, and he'll die a brave man. Who will never see his freedom. Okay, this guy will finish off the crossbow guy next to you, Erg. And it's your turn. Erg. I have to regain my balance. Yeah, you. So it takes ten feet of your movement. You okay. could do a bonus dash and charge and hit this guy. Yeah, and then yeah, I mean that that actually seems okay. Uh, you don't quite have enough movement for that because it takes ten feet to regain your balance. So you're down yeah. to fifteen. Just you would have twenty-five. Yeah. The bonus dash. Could just yeah, yeah, you can go I'll attack this guy over here. here. I'll just go over here. And then this full health guy can go over there. It's perfect. And then I'll attack him. And then use your bonus action to heal again. Just so you're trying to heal yourself. Club attack. Critical oh, fail. Disadvantage. Drop penalty. 
Heal her, heal. Yeah, he's gonna heal. Uh -huh. Shane. Did I take any damage last turn? No. No. Can I can I switch to offensive stance? Yes, for one stamina. Oh, thanks. Oh, so we're gonna attack this guy. Okay. You make it for four damage. Is that no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well, I can't do anything. God but damn it. That man. I can attack the guy who's looking at you. If you want, you want to attack me and get advantage, it's fine. Sure, sure. You need to kill this man, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I'll go for the bonus attack on him. Oh, uh, that better work this time. He he looks pretty beat up. Uh, I'm hoping. Nope. This, well, then I can still just punch him normally. If he's going to miss, <laughs> if he's going to miss, right? <laughs> That's what they all say. See, that was I just needed you to touch him. I just needed you to touch him. <laughs> I, I punched him a lot. They okay. The mercenaries are up, and this actually has advantage against Shane. He doesn't <laughs> 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 oh, fucking <laughs> punch. <laughs> My luck is strong. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Myth. Does yes. Jonah get advantage on any of those punches because he's attacking from behind? No. No. There's not a flanking bonus. Uh, now, now, you could annoy Myth the next however many months we do this until there's a flanking bonus. No. Once you guys get another two or three levels in, you realize that you have advantage pretty much whenever you want it. You just not need fine. to spend a couple of stamina to get the advantage. So. That'd be nice. You'll have plenty of advantage. I'm not going to give you advantage for flanking. <laughs> Deal with it. That's too easy. That's too easy. Everybody and and Jojo would be fucking time. ripped by this guy behind him That's and true. all this stuff. So. <laughs> Jojo would be dead. But uh, this uh, sword guy is going to swing at Jojo one more time. Nope. Missing again. Long sword captain against Jojo. Rex him for 19. Oh, holy! Does that kill him? Uh, puts me at minus four. Jojo! Just go to zero. We don't do negatives. Yeah, so he's on, yeah, he's no. on the ground. He needs to roll to see if he dies. Or we can get back up. Once it's his turn. Mm -hmm. Jojo! Except our healers, AFK. That is true. Also, I'm going to then have two people looking at me. Well, the, the captain can't attack me. Luckily. Okay, the axe guy against the person. Missing crossbow guy. Point blank against this guy, he can attack point blank because he's off of balance. And he gets, and he uh, finishes off that guy. He was a brave soul, and then he made a dumb choice. That's a miss on him. Oh, we still have the numbers advantage. This guy for five. Yeah, but a lot of these mercenaries are still near full health. Yeah, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. So this archer's gonna step back a little bit and aim this way. That's a miss on the shield guy. God damn. These men are mighty. That's a miss as well. Okay. Trayson, we're back to you. You see JoJo go down. I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. <laughs> I mean, that's just a sad reality of the situation. JoJo! So I'm going to attack. The Axeman. That's a hit. Not much. And I'm going to continue to try to heal. Well, okay. it's pickle I find myself in. The uh, militia are up. I'm going to start with the archer guy on the right. He's going to finish up, get up here, grab the ladder, and throw the ladder down there. And he, you notice that he speaks in that direction. In fact, you, at this point, you guys can probably hear voices. It looks like this is where the prisoners are, uh, and the ladder allows them to climb up the wall. You know so, what? I take I take back what I said. He's not useless. Take so it back. It's fifteen twenty. He'll use a bonus action dash to get up here. 
And then he fires arrow. Let's see if he's within range. Yeah, he can. So he's gonna go for this guy. Is he actually gonna get a hit? Let's see. He'd have to be firing. No. <laughs> Of course, of course, they critically failed. <laughs> He's a terrible good, archer, man. It's a good thing he wasn't trying to aim here. He would have hit one of his yeah. own guys in the back for that critical failure. Does he not have archer stance? Yeah, Myth is a merciful guy. No, he doesn't. He, he clearly doesn't, otherwise, he would have used it by now. Oh, uh, no. Okay, Eric. You, you, you see across the battlefield, across all of these guys in front of you, JoJo fall. Jojo! He's, he's he. I mean, he's just gonna keep attacking the guy in front of him. <laughs> There's nothing to do about it. I said, try to kill our way to him. So it takes ten feet of movement, but that doesn't mean anything. So he just keeps attacking this guy. And misses. And he misses. And yeah. Bonus. Yeah. Uh, probably healing more. Yeah. Okay. Shane. So, you did not take damage. Finish so him! Okay, use you want to use the bonus switch back, you can after your turn. Yes. Also, is, do I pay for the stamina before each of my turns or after each of my turns? It does not take stamina on each turn. Stances only take stamina when you first activate them. Okay, so I'm doing the correct thing. Okay, awesome. This is, this is, this is better. I assumed it took uh, stamina every turn. No, that's so, only five... Uh, you're oh, so that's what you had. It was like during the beta. Attack so first, then somewhere. use a bonus action to switch into defensive stamp. Well, do your attack, right? Roll. Well, I, was, I wanted to make sure I could do that. Yeah, you can yes. attack and then switch out. I'm gonna, I want to be very angry that my friend is going down and, uh, and uh, uh, smite this man right here. You can use your divine guidance too if you miss. No, I'm gonna. Yes. No, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna swing this man. Gives that advantage. Uh, and then use my bonus action to switch into defensive stance. Now, can I still move? I understand that. Uh, you can. Although I think you have half movement. Yes, I do. Which is ten feet. So I could go here. I just want to go here. Wait. Okay. If I would have normally missed an attack, and I use my divine guidance, I'll hit my attack, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, you could have used it on that last one. Yeah, exactly. Well, have more so nine, was, nine was a lot of damage. That's a shame. Yeah, it was. Dance. Uh, can I do anything else? No. No. Okay. Okay. Jojo, make a death save. Pass it. Okay, it saves. I was like, but I would hate to see you. I would hate to see you die. Dinos for that. <laughs> Okay, you get one success, so... Bing. Well, what does his health go to? Mm, he's still down. Still down and dying. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This is just... Okay. This, this decides whether he bleeds out completely or... Stabilize. Stabilizes. Got it. And it, he'll be what doing this for... What if a crit? If, then you get oh. one HP back. That's in fifth edition, and in right. this, no, you, it just counts as two successes. Oh, okay. Okay. Or two fails if you get a one. If you two fails, if you crit fail, yeah. Okay. Mercenaries are up. So this guy beside you, Shane, tries to shank yes. you. On. You lower than a disadvantage and crit fail. Yes, it is! Aha! Okay, <laughs> so he's off balance. Sucks to suck. So this captain's going to come around, JoJo. That's why I didn't move ten feet. Well, you would have given the other one attack opportunity. Oh my god! So he misses. The axe guy against Trayson. Because that guy has disadvantage, or doesn't he? Yeah, misses. Yes. Crit fail. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, the first guy crit failed. Um, so that guy misses you. Crossbow so guy can... steps back a little bit and goes for this one. The, uh, the guy next to you, Trayson, missing that guy. The other archer also goes for that same person. Well, yeah. archers aren't do not. As you never say mind. this, Actually, <laughs> never mind. Whoa! Don't, Don't well, talk. For thirteen damage on this person. Actually, actually wasn't no, a lot. To be fair, the archer. That's a miss. Back, back. 
Sword He's strong a man. He's at full health, so. Swordsman crits this guy. Jesus. For nine damage. Not not Mr. Mighty. And then this guy swings his the last guy. Missing. Okay, Trace, and we're back to you. Um scimitar attack. Isn't it scimitar? Yes. Saying scimitar and it triggers me slightly. That's uh, a miss. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm okay. sorry. We're up to the militia. The archers will regain balance. Can you Back shoot this? Can further. you shoot this archer? One sure, he's gonna go dead. for that archer. Dead. Missing. Just kidding. <laughs> this <laughs> archer is hilarious. He's the worst <laughs> archer I've ever seen in my life. He hasn't hit like a single watch, thing. Watch like watch like prisoners come out and we see like Jim just like take the bow out of his hands and just get a crit. Great. Right. Oh, oh, hello. Well. So this guy. Well then. Does a lot of damage. Oh, this guy's fucked. <laughs> Fuck. Holy. Oh. Guys, help me now. Okay, this guy. Well, how's his damage? You you can't tell what somebody's damage. Uh, that one got him two zero, but if he had if he had done any more than just one stamina damage, he would have gotten bonus damage. Oh, yeah! You could just like tap him in the face. The other guy go for the uh, archers. Oh wait, no! I was looking at the wrong guy. That guy did four damage. Yeah, that guy's dead. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Even better. Even better. I was looking at the other maze. But I asked. Yeah. Okay. This guy swings at the top, hitting for thirteen. This guy should move. Yeah, he's about to. <laughs> that guy does another 12. This guy will come in this direction. That's 5, 15, 25. That's for 8. Okay. Erg, we're back to you. Erg, smash. Erg will smash. Erg, smash this guy. Erg, smash as long as he hits. Oh, wait. So first cancel. All right, well, use divine guidance. Don't fail. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> He's out. So can I still use my bonus action to hit him again? He's I think he dies if you hit him. Oh, oh yeah. He's dead Jim. He's dead Jim. Jim, stop shooting him, he's dead. Alright. Well Uh give yourself one face because that's the first time you used divine guidance. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, five, ten, five. And in the upper right, uh you'll see like a no place where you can put how many times you've used Divine Guidance. Put a one there. Oh, that's what I do instead. Well, do that and give yourself one faith. Oh. <laughs> okay. Got it. Okay. And you can move and make an offhand attack if you want. Yeah. Crossbow, Crossbow dude. Boots over here. And hits him with an offhand. By the way, does any of the map over here like open up because we're like? Oh uh, yeah, I guess. Sure. I well, guess. It'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be nice. I'm just saying. I see what's going on. There's nothing too interesting over here. This is like. They're, they're all, all gone. Sure They've all moved make sure there's no more. We're making sure there's no like, hidden enemies. No. Do that. Well, Eric did his offhand thingy. Yeah, and you hit him. Um, that's, that's five, back and then some stamina. Okay, Shane. I'm in defensive stance, and I attack with disadvantage. But this guy's off balance, so is it a normal attack? It does count as normal, yes. 
okay, cool. I'm gonna do that, and if I fuck up, maybe I'll use divine guidance or whatever it is people are doing these days. Uh, you would miss. Okay. Do you use divine guidance? Yes. Okay. So you hit for ten. Yeah, um, mark yourself as using yep. divine guidance. Give yourself one stamina and one faith. Okay, uh, Jojo, that another death save. I make it with the exact same number yeah. I had last time. <laughs> I, I swear I'm not cheating. <laughs> Shane just screams out. Hex! Hex! <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, the mercenaries are up. You guys. Luckily. Yeah. So the swordsman tries oh, to get you. Wait for the crit, that won't happen. Unless they get two crits. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> yeah, the dirt bits are broken. It's so good. It does make it a lot easier to tank. Okay. Yes, it does. As long as you have the echo, at least. But that yeah. is true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Poor Jojo. Jojo. <laughs> well, he's not dead yet. So it's... Well, you just didn't. I'm just saying, Poor Jojo, because you didn't have enough aggro to save him. Good. Only oh, one yeah, guy was attacking you at the time. Okay, so this captain will try to swing at you. Mm, Missing. Nope. And then he's going to use his bonus action to pull out a whistle and blow it. So oh, oh, a what a piercing fuck. whistle cry that echoes around the area. A bitch. And then he's going to circle around to the other oh. side, going through that difficult terrain. Next, let's see. We got the archers. They're both going to target this guy. One crit, one hit. That's another. What do you say? What's with these whistles, man? Why do people just carry whistles around? Wait, wait, a, wait a minute. Uh, never, never. Go ahead. Maybe ask them that. For for know. a second, I thought the militia crossbowmen. Critted, but clearly he didn't. That was mistaken. Yeah, clearly mistaken. Erg okay, won't good. ask about whistles. Erg doesn't care about whistles. What was your AC, Erg? Like 12? 13. 13? You just got hit by a crossbow guy at point blank? Okay. For three damage? Seriously, he rolled 13, 13. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny baby damage. <laughs> At least it was only three damage. This guy does not three to that guy. And, uh, Chasen, you're up. I, I want to charge this dude. Okay. Charging at 15 feet, so you get plus three, plus three, so I'm not going to attack roll. How many militia have we lost so far? That's a hit for 10 damage. Which one do you target? Just the mm -hmm. weakest one. Okay. We only dead. lost one, one militia. One. Do you do anything else, Chasen? Um... There was nine militiamen when we were when we No, left. I'm I'm gonna do so that. Not at all been here. Actually, you know, I gotta use my last stamina for one more heal. So I use all three of my stamina. Okay. Okay. Uh, militia's turn. We'll start with the archer. Uh. -oh. uh he doesn't have a great angle on anybody. I mean, he can try hitting the guy near Erg. That's his best angle he has. Does he have to shoot through people? I mean, he's shooting at an angle, so he can get... It's just, he has, With these guys right next to each other, it's a lot... It's a lot harder to hit this guy, because he's right over his teammate. But he's shooting from above, so... It's only a little bit above, though. It's yeah. not, like, a huge... Yeah, yeah, so that's why it makes it easier to hit this guy. Yeah. Misses anyway. Fine yeah. guidance. Okay. Of course he misses. He's just a bad archer, man. We already know <laughs> this. He's never going to hit anything. Okay, this so... Is, uh, this is Jim's shitty brother, Tim. Uh, he's a waste of arrows, He's his younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to anyone named Tim, by the way. It's the captain for eight. This guy comes over here, and if I know he's going to go up to here and let this guy get up here. Okay. So this guy's going to help you, Erg, out. Getting this guy for 11. 
uh, beside him goes, and these three other guys are just going to wreck this uh, swordsman. Hopefully. I would be surprised if he doesn't do right. Uh, that's a hit for eight. A hit for nine. And then a hit for 11. Yeah, this guy's dead. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Here you are. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, exactly. Well, uh, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Offhand attack. Hey! That does it. Make another 1d6. Call that your offhand, but I think you've hit and crit more with that hand. So I know, right? Great. Apparently, I'm ambidextrous. Or, well, I'm left handed, I don't know. <laughs> hey, I got okay. a six! Oh, yeah. damn. Max damage with the extra. And that guy is taking no sta- has, uh, has enough stamina to take bonus? Almost. He's at two stamina left. Damn. So if you hit him a decent hit, you're definitely going to Probably going to kill him in one more hit, unless yeah. that other guy next to you kills him first. Okay, Shane, you're up. Yes. Indeed. Well, uh, I've done that with your guy, Shane. Or we can all just gang up on the captain. Uh, should, should I leave defensive stance for a normal attack? Do you? We're not playing the um, You know what? Let me look at this. What would my character do? It's reactionary, so... Okay, so it seems like it's been a while since the archer threw down the ladder. What's going on? Like, those guys have done nothing with the ladder? <laughs> okay. So, I mean, you guys don't have a good angle to see it. Um, but, uh, I'm, I'm gonna... I mean, I'm, I'm gonna just, attack this It seems a little quick. weird. I'm gonna <laughs> defensive dance and just see where how far my luck will go. But right now I'm tanking two guys, and one of them is a, is a badass. So I think that's better than... I just feel like at least by this point they would have set up the no. ladder and been trying to climb over, but unfortunate. Uh, you're not well, six seconds. Yeah, I think. Yeah. So it's been like fifteen seconds or eighteen seconds since the ladder was put down. Mm-hmm. So That's it's plenty of time mm-hmm. to set up the ladder. What are you talking about? If they were right down there to receive it, but Oh, oh! I guess I don't know how big okay. the area is. That's true. It could have been on the other side. I don't know. But if they heard all this fighting stuff to begin oh, with, they probably would. They definitely know, and you definitely hear voices on the other side. Um, rabble, I mean, rabble, rabble, rabble. Yeah, I mean, you you you're not really focused on that. You're kind of swinging and being peppered in the chest with bolts. I mean, that's not it. I was just wondering. I, I wanted to make sure you hadn't forgot about that. That's all. Judge, let's say. I thought you I forgot about that one shield sh- uh, shield hammer guy like three to four times. Well, I'm, I I only Fuck completely you, forgot about him once. Okay, Judge, you are stable. Fuck you, Death. <laughs> not today. Okay, mercenaries are up. So, crossbow guy is going to try to point blank you again, Jojo. I mean, er... I was like, that's pretty brutal. <laughs> he didn't give me this time, yeah. He's like walking up and could they grab me? Was that a man? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying complete attention. No, that was at Erg. Oh, uh, this Jojo. guy... Huh? That's simple on Jojo. It's, he's, he's now stable. He's no longer bleeding out, he's just unconscious. And I missed the question of can, can like some, for example, a long sword guy next to him just come up to him and just finish him off if you wanted to? Uh, if you take damage while you're unconscious or while you're at zero hit points and bleeding out, you it counts as a failed death save. Automatically failed death save. Uh-oh. If it's a crit, it counts as two, but it's unlikely. Okay, so this crossbow aims at you point blank. Does a 15 hit you, Tracen? Sucks for you. You take six. Okay. And now these two guys down here near Shane are actually both going to disengage oh. and start running. No, that has, he has my longsword. 
that fuck? And he, as he's running away, he blows the whistle again. Okay. What type of sword do the mercenaries have? Just level one swords? Uh, most of them were using short swords. Um, I think that was... Uh, let me double check. Uh, Mercenary. They short swords, broad axes, and light crossbows. Were what they were using. Okay. Tracy, you're up. Uh, basic fans. I think this guy regret it. I'm shooting a bow at me. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? I have no stand, so now. Yeah. Okay, a militia. At this point, you do see the first person climb up. <laughs> and uh, he's going to run over here. And that's the end of his turn. The uh, Russian guy doesn't have any angle, so he's just going to head it out in this direction. Can he get close enough to get an Got on this guy. Yes. Well, hold on. Let me double check. Yes, he can. Okay. He's going to get a shot on the captain from behind. Does a 16 hit. He finally does damage. A 16 hits. Yeah. What a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Well, I mean, at least he hit the most important guy. Yeah, too bad he can't do any help, you know, during the entire goddamn battle. What a piece of garbage. This guy critically fails. I don't even care to mark it. That is off balance. <laughs> I also critically fails. Oh my god. Bear mark both of them. That's no, just they say. Just in case. Because that archer will probably take advantage of it. Yeah, the unless Erd kills him. The one okay. Proceeds to kill everyone. Yeah. Gets promoted to over capital. Oh, gets promoted. Erg. Smash. Right. You know it. Oh, good, 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 good. Feels bad. <laughs> You hit him. Oh, wait. 15 still a hit? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was a yeah. miss on them. Okay. That's good. That works then. Well, I mean, that was his action, so that sucks. Uh, I guess I can win. <laughs> oh, you want to know what's funny? Don't forget to move. I mean, I guess he can, yeah. Wait. Yeah, I mean... Well, I get... Can you... Oh, you can move after your action, and that's fine? Yeah. Man, okay. a lot of people are unbalanced right now. I mean, well, then he won't use second wind. I guess he'll just attack. Also, Wait, no, he can't attack. Never mind. He'll second wind. Whatever. Is that yeah. like one prisoner? That's the first guy that's gotten up the ladder, yes. For a second, I was like, what is that? Put that monstrosity. Put that monstrosity. The gnomes are escaping. The gnomes. The gnomes. Sorry, there's not a huge selection of tokens yeah. that no, it's fine. don't have any weapons. You can upload yeah. custom ones, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to send uh, one for mine later. Yeah. So, no. session, yeah, if you guys want any special tokens for your characters, just send me one. Is there a place we can find them? Internet? Google? How big of a token? Like, I don't know how... It doesn't matter the size. MS Paint? MS Paint? What? Hmm? If you really want to, yes. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, um, Shane. Yes. Yeah, you, do, you have websites to have. So, them. I mean, if you don't mind being in a stance so. only only gives me a ten movement, but I needed ten movement to get out of unbalanced. So I, I don't think I can move. Yeah, no, you don't have quite a stance. No, I can't. Well, 
yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't move. I'm just, I'm just good. Is there anything I can do for JoJo? Do-do. Do you have any medical skills? <laughs> I don't think I, I, I don't think you do. Just stare at him oh, awkwardly. Gosh, heal Jojo, <laughs> heal! I'll just, I'll, I'll just look at him and scream, Jojo! Trying to yes. up, I'm just unconscious. It's a really, really over dramatic bold art style. Just slap him a few times, he'll wake up. No, I'll just I'll just look this way just in case. I'll I'll, I'll just stay in I'll just stay in defensive stance just in case. Okay. You know, some, something about that whistle don't sit right with me. Uh, mercenaries go, they get out of the area. Mercenary. Well, there were two of them. Chase in. Oh, the whistle. Oh, no, sorry, this guy's point blank at you. I forgot about him. Can't point blank at someone else, and he misses anyway. Oh, shit. You can, it's your, you're up now. Fuck this guy. Roll another one D eight. Okay, and the militia guy next to you tries to help out. Misses. <laughs> Do you get too many people in the small area. This I, mean, I should have uh, stated that I want to move around, but never mind. It doesn't really matter. Eric shouldn't have even moved. Yeah, There's no point in moving. Okay. Anyway. That finishes on me. Eric okay. just going to run around and start looting. <laughs> okay, so the uh, militia guy are going to start grouping up over here. And, well, a couple of them are going to. These two guys, because they're mostly full health, are going to get over here and try to start helping people up. And these people are just going to be gathering around. So, yeah, what are you guys doing during this period? Um, I'm looting. Looting! Bodies. Okay. <laughs> Look at all the gnomes! Like, no army. I know we just killed these guys, but for example, a lot of them had medium armor. Is there is anyone's armor still salvageable? Uh, mm, it's bloody and there's holes in it from stabs and stuff like that. It w it can definitely be repaired. Okay, but it is if not. It be, if it can be repaired, is, it should be taken for the militia. Is there probably I mean, gonna how, be the, well, the real, well, then we might have, we gotta protect ourselves too, and so I mean, and there's that blacksmith over there in the uh, 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 not too far away from the um, base. It's an oh. army of gnomes. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> that you're saying you know, you're coughing, but at no point have you told Trayson that you have blacksmith talents. So how the fuck I, am I supposed to know this? They probably do. Sam, they had blacksmith I guys I do, I do on their side. And no, while we were while we were in the uh, in the in the smith. I, again, I did give a, <laughs> an opinion. Give an opinion, but that doesn't tell me you know how to blacksmith. Oh, well, yeah. Carry around a hammer, so oh. I could think. For all I know, I could think that you're just carrying around a hammer as a backup. I'm a hammer enthusiast. You can carry that as a backup weapon, for all I know. It doesn't really tell me anything, Wolfpack. All right, you know what? Fair enough. Okay, so. Go, go back. You guys start salvaging around. Some of the militia guys are also doing the same. Eric, I want loot. Attend to JoJo, you know, the guy who's unconscious. He stays unconscious for now. <laughs> no, <laughs> no worry or anything. I mean, it's not a whole lot we can do about it. What we can do is we can get Eric to carry his ass home. Eric's got loot to worry about, thank you very much. Eric, big, strong man. Eric, carry JoJo. Trayson also a big strong actually, man. Me, Trayson carry Jojo. We both have the same might. Erg carry loot. Trace, Trayson, you actually have less might than we do. Oh, it feels bad. Trayson has three. Me and Erg both have four. You have yeah, four? Have Why you the hell do you have four? I, well... <laughs> okay, so... Point, uh, Erg, Trayson, uh, Shane, are you also looting? Uh, Eric's looting, for if, sure. If JoJo isn't dying, 
muzzle. I mean, he, brief he appears to not be in mortal danger. All right. Well, there is a dead guy beneath me. I might as well loot that guy. Okay. Um, Erg and Trace and both roll a 1d4. And then all three of you roll a 1d20 with no modifiers. Hey! Hey! Oh, a two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that the one d twenty that you guys just rolled—that's how many coins you guys find. Hey. So, so I guess uh, you get these measly two little guy, two little coins, and then you see you look to your left and you see Trayson, just a handful of sixteen coins. <laughs> what about like the three? What was the three supposed to be? So hold on. Okay. So the one d four. Uh, Trayson, you find. Two chain shirts that can be repaired. If you want to put these into your inventory. Yeah. Two, two damaged chainmail shirts. And then, do you also? I assume you're grabbing like the short swords and stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to go with all the stuff. You know, okay. so you get one short sword and one broad axe. Both minor damaged, minorly damaged. Okay. Uh, Erg, you get three damaged chainmail shirts. Okay. One short sword, one broad axe, and one light crossbow. So how do I so how do I add that to my inventory? Uh, on your character sheet in the bottom right. You just type it. Damage. Oh, you... Didn't have anything? Or... Yeah, one d three. Or one d four. Well, he didn't tell me to roll a 1d4. Because you were only looking at one body. Okay, uh, I'll say you find one damaged chainmail shirt. Hey, I'll take that. Then the militia guys grab the rest of it. So I just write, like, damaged chainmail times three. Okay. Yes, basically. Or chainmail times three damaged. I can fix this myself. However you want to do it, as long as you know what you have. I find no weapons. Is that a no? Sorry, what was that? I find no weapons. I said you've got a short sword, a broad axe, and a light crossbow. Oh, oh, sorry, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah, you got stuff. And a crossbow, did you say? And they're all damaged? Yes. Light, light crossbow, a light crossbow. Um... The crossbow is fine, but both the broad axe and the short sword are minorly damaged. Have minor damage. <clears throat> so after you guys loot for a minute, the militia guy are kind of motioning everybody to start moving, that saying that they got to get out of there before reinforcements arrive for the mercenaries. Okie dokie. So who picks up JoJo? Nobody? Well, I, okay, and we I, sleep I, 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 One of you two I, mightiest I, people I, who want to argue about having four mics, one of your motherfuckers can do it now. I mean, I can, but Trace would argue that I'm too slow. <laughs> and if Erg doesn't want to, I can. But... Offer Erg coin, Erg do. Uh, you know what? I think I'll do it myself. Erg, help your friend. <laughs> Erg no I need friend. Erg no I have friend. <laughs> I, 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 could, I, could, I could do it. I could, I could. We're not under attack right now. We're fine. Okay. So, you guys start heading. <laughs> Who's going to no. pick up JoJo? No one. <laughs> I, I, I picked you up. Mm. Down, man. I just moved you, Trace, and deal with it. I saw that. <laughs> you could have moved us. Too bad. Rude. Move yourself. Okay, so, uh, everybody make a stealth check. Even non conscious, Jojo? <laughs> no, no. Well, we're all at disadvantage, Jojo. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I failed. No one is stealthy the chain. Where's stealth check? 
Uh, check for stealth? Check, check. Okay. Just check on yourself and check. What is stealth here? <laughs> oh, shit. This is dope. I'm just gonna do 2D. No, that was 2D20. That was supposed to be one. 2D20 for the militia and the other guys. Okay. Hmm. Night vision. Night vision? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I rolled 2 though. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So it takes you guys since you guys are traveling a little bit slower now and you're obviously avoiding major streets, sort of trying to make your way back to the main base of the militia. It takes you guys about forty five minutes or so to get there. Alright. But you do make it. Uh, let me move you guys over there. <laughs> okay, one second. I thought it just moves all to the front of the base, Smith, and then move people individually because now people are in the black zone. Yeah. I can't see! There we go. That works. Let me give. Ooh, okay. Okay, so you guys arrive here, and you can loot control your own guys and do whatever. Probably find JoJo's the medical person. Okay. Erg, tired, take lots of arrows. <laughs> I shot the Oscar. Uh, Jojo, yeah. you need to move your own token. Uh, mm. uh, what? Who said that? <laughs> I, I shot the Oscar. Oscar, do you have anyone who can provide medical attention? He gives a nod, and I, I guess he just takes Jojo from me. <laughs> 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 I guess he just takes them. <laughs> he just takes Jojo. Okay, uh, let me. Where is he? Well, how much XP did everyone get from that map? Okay, one second. That's my. You all get four XP for that. Vot, vot. If we, if we, uh, if we complete a goal, if you complete a goal, what? Uh, does does it session? Your mic cut out again. <clears throat> He's asking if you complete a goal. Then end of the session. Of the session. Thank you. No. So what I'm hearing is, if you complete a goal at end of session, that's all I'm hearing. Say that one more time. If I complete a goal, yes. Does it take effect? No. Oh. It takes a. It can. If you believe you have completed a goal, it I've, will take effect immediately. I believe I have saved the life of an innocent without asking for a reward. Would you count but Jojo as an innocent? He's a combatant. So that's Jojo or helping the militia. Well, I mean, Jojo's pretty innocent. Ahead of time. <laughs> he, did, pretty he, innocent. he did approve that it would be acceptable. I mean, think about it. I mean, okay. Jojo's just like, you fiends, you evil well, again, people. I mean, these are we don't okay. know if these prisoners well, are innocent or these For now, just innocent. head inside and we'll I figure mean, out. I mean, what does what uh, innocence mean objectively? That's not the way it works. All you right, can't come right, up with objective right. innocence. To be fair, he's with me. So. Okay, so, uh, Jojo, you come back to consciousness. Put your hit points at 30. Oh, 
from the medical attention you receive. Oh, oh I'm, I'm strong now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you will be taking an injury, though. My arm or ankle <laughs> or pinky. Okay, so give me a 1d20 with no modifiers. It's his left small toe, isn't it? We'll find out. No. Oh, it's his left medium toe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, so you have a sprained ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Now move slow your, your, oh, movement speed, no. your movement speed is reduced by 10, but this, um, <laughs> until you get rid of the century. So, um, yeah, that's fine for now. Eventually I'll have that automatic, but yeah. severity is just three, because you're on, you were bleeding out for three rounds. Okay. Oh, that's funny. So, and you only have 15 movement speed for a while. How long does a sprained ankle last? Until he gets rid of it. Okay, that's not much of an explanation. How do you get rid of a sprained okay. ankle? You just that wait for it to heal. Yeah, so no, okay. So if you look uh, just to the left of where your injury and status effects are, you have injury thresholds, and then at the bottom of that recovery. So I believe everybody has a recovery of one right now. If and though that's how many recovery points you get when taking a long rest. So when you take a long rest, you can spend your recovery points to reduce the severity of your injuries. Right now, uh, Jojo has a severity of three, so it's going to take three total recovery points to get rid of the sprained ankle. Wait, so he's going to have that a for recovery three days. of two, man. Erg's a boss. Oh, okay. Erg is a boss then. Yeah. Literally double the recovery. Okay, so. Uh, everybody's conscious. You guys can do what you want. Things continue on. Do you guys go to rest? It is pretty late at night. Uh, Erg, take arrows. Erg needs sleep. Sancho wants to ask Oscar if he knows Mushin. Uh, Mushin Hildu. Lude. <laughs> Helud. 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 Okay, so... Do you just say the name? Yes. He'd be like, he'd narrow his eyes a little bit like, don't recognize the name. Is this someone in the city? Apparently, yes. He, he's a martial artist like myself. A martial artist by the name of Mushin. Matt. He uses hmm. the same technique as I do of sunlight karate. Sunlight. Can't say I'm familiar with him, but if he's in the southern half of the city, I'll send people to take a look. See if we can find information, any information about him. He gives a nod. I, don't know. I guess it's rest time. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, while you guys are heading up to do that, does anybody think they completed their goals? Aha! Uh -huh. Hi, yes. Hello. Did I gain fa um, favor with them for helping them save all those prisoners? Yeah, I'll give it to you. How much okay. do I get? Uh, hold on a sec. So, Dane, you oh, well. saved the innocent without asking for a reward. Let's see how much experience you get. You get eight. Holy shit. Okay, and then Trace, you gained favor. Without asking for a reward, it's amazing. A whole fucking one, Jesus fucking Christ. And you get 10 experience, Trace. Does anyone else think they got it? Not even close. Oh! I mean, I know Erg's definitely got one of his things because the light crossbow itself, undamaged, is worth 100, so he's definitely looted that much. Yes, he has. Okay, so you get... 
You get four experience for that goal. <laughs> Set the bar low, just knock him right out. Wait, Erg, you mean Erg Swords? Yeah, Erg, you get four experience for that goal. Okay. And then, uh, how many people... Did, I think he beat, like, three people. He only killed one, I think, but... Would he view those people who are peppering him with arrows as weaklings? Uh, that's that's a good point. I actually don't really know how that works. I, I would mean, say no, seeing as they nearly killed you two no, times. No, no, that's not the way he looks at things. If they're small people, regardless of whether or not they have crossbows, that has nothing to do with their status as strong people. If he beats them, I mean, if they're small people, then they can still be viewed as weakening. Okay, so uh, how big were they? <laughs> Roll one d four. I got experience for each individual civilian. Say, I'm kidding. Shut the. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, you get six hundred and twelve experience. You lose that XP because you want no, more than four no, of experience. No, 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 no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I rolled it. Okay, you have two out of your five weaklings beaten. Okay, fair enough. So one of those guys was big enough to not be viewed as a weakling. It dang, feels so bad, man. Was it really into submission, or was it into death? Oh, no, he <laughs> definitely... Well, that, they're the same <laughs> thing, basically. I would say oh. submission, seeing as every single person he beat down and killed, he destroyed their stamina first, therefore their... He beat them into submission, sense. and then into death. So you picked the perfect weapon to do that. Calculated. As we'd say in Rocket League. Oh. <laughs> okay. So uh, anything else? I think that's uh, is the long rest now because it's still late in the night, right? It's like what now one o'clock maybe. Yeah, I'd say it's about one a.m. or so. Okay, yeah. So I think everyone's mm -hmm. gonna be taking a short or uh, long rest. Or you pulled the arrows out of his body. <laughs> or the bolts. Uh, they were all right. Take any damage that fight. But let's see if I can get higher temporary hit points at a one. Two. Take it. It works. It's double less than. I know. I've gotten such shitty rolls on this basic conditioning. One it is two. absolutely fucking amazing. Same. <laughs> Eric has enhanced conditioning, I think. No, I do. Dude, the fact that stances don't. It's bring JoJo that has stamina. Yeah. Oh, man. The things that I can do with these stances, let me tell you. Yeah, stances can be good. So, um. It's now morning. Yeah. Yeah. So, give me one second to set some time. Right, indeed. You guys still have no idea where Bren is. <laughs> I'm uh, making the assumption that Bren's at the, ta on the tavern at this point. He's just wondering, he's just looking left and right. Where is everybody? Well, you're having a morning judge will go ask Oscar. Also, we seem to be missing our other compatriots. <laughs> <laughs> this one I know is in the city and probably still at the end. Maybe it's somebody can bad. help us find him. Yes. His name is Bray. I do part of the conversation. Hold on. Did so, you say the uh, end of the center, center of the city? Uh, or how did, where did you say? Uh, at the, the second half of that? It would probably just be at the end. Right, I'll be right That's all you can say. <laughs> just there's more like, than one. There's like six ends in the city. Then you'd say the name of the one. After, okay. I forget what the name is. Yeah, what was the one we were in? Oh, you never gave a name. Who wants to name it? Who wants to name it? Anybody? The I Black mean, Duck. The Black, black <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Inter interface? <laughs> it, uh, ends in fantasy settings are... Adjective. Are usually ridiculous. It's adjective. Animal names. Animal. <laughs> like, fuck... Yeah, let's see. I still like inter make in interface. That's just my personal choice. Oh, hey, that one's actually not an animal. Crazy rabbit. The crazy rabbit in. There we go. I'm going to go myth. 
So, Myth, um, was it bright enough outside for, since the captain got away and that one mercenary, would it be bright enough, was it bright enough during the night for them to actually recognize us walking around the town? Or is it just too dark and you just see, pe- like, mm-hmm. shakes of people fighting? Uh, anyone who would have been right next to you would definitely be able to recognize you. Oh, I'm trying to think of the captain was next to me. Or but not. it's like if they were 40 feet away now. Uh, like, the captain was definitely next to both JoJo and Shane. Um, he wasn't he his, quite next to you, though. He had his back turned to me almost the entirety of the fight. Yeah. So I don't think he'd recognize me. He definitely didn't see Eric, man. No, he never saw Erd. Erd was always at the opposite side of the battlefield. Okay. Okay, so you tell Oscar that you have a companion who's likely at the end. <laughs> so he like gives a nice like, okay, uh, I'll send somebody to go and fetch him. Uh, do you do you say that the kid's name is Bren? I said his name was Bren. Okay, is that the only information you give about him? Um, he's very small. Um, like 130 or 140, I can't remember. He was, he's about as tall as Shane, but very thin. Um, what was he wearing? Um, his mage's attire. All right, I'm back. When he, when he came to this continent, uh, because Tracy would recognize it. He says he wears plain clothes with no, no, boots. Not. Not okay, yeah, he does not appear to be wearing any identifying markings. Feels bad. Um, he, he does oh, blonde hair. I, I'm so sad that he's not at the him. Black Duck Inn. So I also tell Oscar that he, you know, has blonde hair down to his shoulders. He nods and then sends somebody off who runs away into the city. Okay, so the morning passes and then one of the messengers returns. And then I assume you guys just hanging out around Oscar? No. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I mean, if you guys have anything else to do, say so. I do. I need to go to the docks and take care of my ships. Okay, do you do that in the morning, or do you wait? Um, like, how far away is the docks from here, and how long would it be? Uh, you guys are in, like, the southeastern section of the city. It would... So, it, it's, it would take you probably two hours to get there and back. If you're walking, obviously. Yeah. Is that enough time to come back in time for the messenger? If I leave um, early in the morning? Yeah. All right, I do that. Okay, so you head off to the western section of the city. You stick mostly to the southern half as you go in that direction. Just trying not to draw unnecessary attention. You make it to... The docks finding after a few moments of figuring out where you are, you find the warehouse that was motioned to by the uh, guy that pumped into you the previous day. Or two days ago at this point. Yeah. So you just walk in to the warehouse? Yeah, I'm going to find something really quick. <laughs> I just scrolled, I scrolled right past I thought it was okay. much further back in the conversations so I was about I'm to like, say make a mind check to see if you can remember that I, I remember it now okay. I thought I wrote it down but I didn't yeah I'm not just going to tell you guys again unless you make a good mind check but yeah no I I, I, I got to gotta make notes, now, so. gotta make notes. yeah I have, I have it written down now okay so uh, do you just walk in um, there was no one at the door, no one... There's nobody outside. So, yeah, so I just walk in. 
Okay, so you walk in, and it opens into like a small antechamber, just a small room, 10 by 10 or so. There's just a single plain desk with a guy sitting there, hand over a ledger as if he's writing something down, probably keeping records of whatever goods are being stored there or being moved around. He looks up at you briefly, and then just pauses for a second. Do you need something? I am looking for Avion's truth. He raises an eyebrow. Say that again. Avon truth. Then he gives a nod. <laughs> Sets down his quill, stands up, goes to the far end of the room opposite of where you entered, and opens up a door as he motions for you to follow him. Without He doesn't say anything else, though. Okay, Do you so follow? Yeah. Okay. So this leads into the main section of the warehouse where everything is stored. Um, you, it, mostly nondescript crates and barrels. Everything seems to be closed. You don't really get any identifying labels on anything. You see a few sacks that look like they might com com contain flour, but everything's closed, so you're not 100 percent sure. And they lead. He leads you all the way to the far end of the warehouse. So this is like 80 feet in or so. He just knocks on the door, not not very loud, just a light knock, and... Brilliant example. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've got a plate on here which is vibrating, which doesn't help. <laughs> oh, that was louder than it should have been. But, <laughs> yeah. So he knocks on the door a little bit, and then, without waiting for a pause or anything, he just immediately says, A truth seeker. And then he turns around and walks the opposite direction. And he seems to be going back in the way he came, and you were just standing there. And there, as far as you can tell, there was not been a single sound from the other side of the door. Okay. Do you wait there, or do you just open it? I open the door. Okay. You open it, and there's a very darkly lit room. There's not doesn't seem to be a single candle or anything in here. There's very little natural light, just a tiny window up on the wall that's less than like a a single column of light basically so this is one of it it appears to be a very dusky room like you can see dust floating in the air in the column of light and on the far side of the room is a young man definitely younger than you sitting at a table with a letter in front of him as he scribbles on it with a quill, and he does not look up at you yet. He seems to be just continuing to write whatever message he's writing. Okay, I wait for him to finish the message. Okay. After another minute or so, he puts his quill away, looks up at you, and then stands up. He pushes, puts his hands together and does the traditional Meridian salute to you. And I then, uh, what? I salute him back. You salute him back? Okay. And then he motions for you to take a seat, and he sits down as well. And I do. I take the seat. Okay. So he asks, anything to report? Seems to get straight to the point. Yeah. <laughs> like he, this, he did, hasn't even said a word before then. This is his first word. It's just... Anything to report? Uh, checking in. I have made contact with the FTA and the KTG. FWA, by the way. <laughs> I thought it was Free Traders Alliance. Free Workers Alliance. Oh, Workers Alliance, my be. He's like, who the fuck is the FPA? <laughs> I, say the, I say the correct one the first time, Dan. Okay. There's too many fucking acronyms around here. <laughs> you can just say the Free Workers Alliance and the Kenoran Traders Guild. Okay, so you just say you've made contact with him? No, I'm writing down the uh, acronyms. <laughs> 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 what was that? 
I see. I was right. I'm writing down the acronyms to make sure I don't fuck them up later. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I informed them. Uh, I informed him of all the of, of what has transpired with the um, FWA. How I made contact with them. I have gained their trust so far. I helped them attack a KTG prison and save some prisoners. The KTG doesn't apparently does not seem aware of my support of the F FWA. So as he, as you're stating these things, he you notice that he does get another piece of paper and he seems to be making notes of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And then after a moment he looks back up at you from his notes and he's like is that it? Currently. Any particular orders? Any uh, suggestions on how to continue this? Things are still very early on. Have not received any reports from the others. We will have to just wait and keep everybody informed. I'll let them know that the FWA and KTG are in a full-fledged conflict and that it is likely to escalate a little bit further over the next few days and weeks. Okay. It seems like he's done talking. Oh, okay. Like, okay, and then I stand back up, I salute. He does, he matches you. And I turn and leave. Okay. And I head back to um, the FWA uh, compound. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, so you make it back. Nothing too exciting happens on the road. Eventually, a messenger returns to Oscar and... Uh, Jojo, are you just chilling out with Oscar? Fire it. Mike was muted. Uh, I asked him if there's anything I can do to help. Like, early on in the morning. Uh, hmm. Like any labor or anything that needs to be done? <laughs> the suggestion. Oh, got any labor you need doing? I got your back. Got any castle walls that need fixing? <laughs> uh, hmm. think, I think you, uh, on your bum ankle, um. he probably doesn't ask you to do anything. <laughs> You can peel potatoes. No. <laughs> sure. Works for me. I mean, we got some potatoes in the back room over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he tells you to go through the door over there. And as you can see up in the top, there's some potatoes right there. <laughs> Small table, a seat, a peeler. Have fun. You're welcome. Judge is willing to do whatever he can. <laughs> Actually, let's zoom in. Oh, it's probably actually like corn or something. I don't know. If you legitimately yeah, trust that, Jojo would do it. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so the messenger comes. You're peeling potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so Oscar will come over behind you as you're peeling potatoes, and he's like, "We found someone by the name of Mushin." Over on in the west near the docks. I appreciate your help very much. I would like to go speak with him right now. He nods and then he motions to the uh, messenger that came, telling him to lead you to the guy. And you uh, head out. So, does anyone else do anything? It's like middle of the day almost by this point. Um. 
I like to go see that blacksmith, see if I can get him to repair let me, uh, my gear. Yeah, Erg sure would have woken up by this point, correct? Yes, yeah, you, you are well awake by this point. Oh, whoa. Huh. All right, I'm awake. Let's. He goes downstairs. And he oh, also wants to do the same thing. Like, I think you met Craig something. Craig Bonnick, yeah. Wait, what did you say about Craig? I was trying to remember what his name was. Thank you for oh, that. Oh, yeah, Craig. Okay. So, JoJo heads out. Erg, do you go with him or stay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Erg wants to get his equipment repaired as well. So he's okay, so you go or with sold Tracy. or sold. Or, I mean, I don't know. Is it more cost effective to just sell it or to repair it and then sell it? I mean, that's a good question. I'm going to come down to haggling, man. Yeah. Well, Erg can't haggle. I mean, come on. That's, that's a you problem. What, what would Erg think? Would Erg just want to sell it? Uh, uh, Erg wants to make money, so Erg doesn't, I mean, Erg. But it's not like he can plan out a business proposal or something. I like mean, optimal thing. That's, or would he want to wear some of them? Honestly, when it comes know? to making money, those sort of transactions aren't really complicated. So it's really... Uh, it's. I mean, people talk about smartness, but okay, sure. simple yeah. math is not really hard. Arithmetic, okay. two plus two is not difficult. Shane, <laughs> do you chill out around or do anything else? Uh, I'd like to find out if there is a place where I can work on this chain mail. Oh, to repair it yourself? Yeah, I mean, I can okay. Um, it, it, it would it would just be great if there was a, if there was a uh, uh, actually I'll just, I'll just walk in here, Oscar. I'll be like, hey, is there any kind of area where I can work on? He kind of just raised an eyebrow. If you're looking for a blacksmith, I believe two of your friends are headed there now. Well, I I can actually work on my own armor. But I was wondering if there was a place that I could use here. Because so if I go to a blacksmith shop, he might charge me. Uh, Do you have an we, anvil in handy? We don't really <laughs> have any of that equipment here. Damn it. Uh, well, uh, but I can send somebody to put in a good word for you. Uh, Maybe save you a few coins. Hey, you know what? That might work. Okay. I mean, does so, that happen for I, us, or are we just like nobody's? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you ask? I mean, that's fair. You could, since you're most likely to have to travel with us anyway, you could ask for that guy to, you know, put in a good word for your, oh, for sure. your yeah. friends. Yeah, maybe maybe put in a good word for, for Trace and Erg as well, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> I mean, you guys... If you, you guys, have to. If, if you guys were leaving and we passed, and you by chance heard me ask Oscar that I I, I, could, I need a place to fix my own... Erg, be a good word. <laughs> so so the three of us should, should have a good word on a, on a discount. Although... Potentially. I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't pay as much as them, because I'm fixing it myself. I just need the space. They need to actually... Wow, I mean, I see how it is. Okay, all right, all right. I'm trying to be realistic here. <laughs> Having your armor pre uh, repaired, as opposed to me doing it myself. All you need to do is when we get there, you ask for something different. We're asking for just straight up repairs. You're asking for basically rent of their facilities. Exactly, and potentially, you know, selling things in exchange for repair. Well, I mean, I didn't say it would be for free. I mean, hey, you see you most show up to this familiar blacksmith guy. Eric didn't say anything rude to him, right? So we're good. No, you yeah, should be good. Eric's yeah. fine. You, you went into the general store for, store for most of it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eric didn't do anything mean. I mean, Eric's a cool dude to this guy. I didn't do anything mean either. I, I actually complimented his workspace. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, Myth. I seem to oh, recall yeah. that being more awkward. Grayson did all the talking. Tell me I'm wrong, Myth. 
<laughs> this is starting to get sad. Nobody was mean to the blacksmith. That's, that's expected behavior of people. Okay? Yeah. I'm not getting rewarded for being normal human beings. Well, I'm, no, no, I'm just saying. That basically, I just wanted to make sure that Eric wasn't going to be punished for doing something mean. Just what you want, to be fair. Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay, so yeah, well, one of the militia guys will come with you. Put in a good word, just saying that you're friends of the militia and you helped save some people who were imprisoned. And he'll nod, and then uh, he'll turn towards you guys. Who talks first? Berg need repairs. Chain you mail. Nod, okay. What am, so what do you hand him? Chain mail. Three. One or three? Three. And all of three chain mail shirts. And you just say repair. Repair. <laughs> Cost plugs. So he, uh, he nods a little bit. He's like, he looks at him. He's like, eh. And he sort of inspects the damage on it. It's like, it'll cost 30 coins for each of these. How much cost sell? I'll buy them for a hundred each. Holy crap. Erg sell two? Erg repair one blocks. Uh, yeah, yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. So he gives you a hundred and seventy coins. Thanks, blocks. <laughs> Erg too rich, own good. What about right, Eric's also got a short sword and a oh I'm he's keeping the broad axe, uh, okay so, uh, broad axe, repair blocks. Uh, let's see, broad. He probably had some money. He'll charge it. you ten coins to repair that. Short sword, sell blocks. <laughs> this is so dumb. He'll give you twenty coins for that. That's fine. Eric doesn't care. Okay. Light crossbow. Does he? Did, did blacksmiths even uh, care for crossbows? He, he, he would be like, uh, I think you're in the wrong shop. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> so do I uh, give myself these coins? So was yeah, give yourself 180. Okay, 180. Okay, cool. And do I also go ahead and change my armor? Or how long no, does it take uh, that's to repair? Take a little bit. Okay, how long? It'll he'll probably be like come back tomorrow. Okay. So okay. So do I want to easy. change my chain mail to be times one repairing or something? Yeah, just well just remove two of them and just say chain mail damaged but in repair or something. Okay. Is it no section actually I didn't yeah, every single item comes for that. I don't know. Okay, Grayson, what do you do? I greet him first. He'll nod and I'm greeting, yeah. And I say, I, I hope we will not, we're not, I haven't talked on phrases correctly. I say to him, I hope we did not start on the wrong foot. He shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> Business is business. So I have two chainmail sh um, shirts. I plan to have one repaired to use myself, and I'd like to sell the other one. Okay. He offers you 70 coins. He offered Eric 100 coins. No, 100 for the one he's buying from you, and then... But you would pay him 30 to repair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay. <laughs> he's like... He thought it was like, wait a minute. He's a I cool jerk, man. Yeah. Erg is just a really good haggler. I mean, let's be real. This blacksmith just looks at Frey and said, you not big as him. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do about it, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> he just likes Erg like better. I also mean. have a broad axe and a short sword. I am currently looking to sell, or potentially trade them for a different weapon. 
Well, he offers to take the, the short sword for 20 coins and the products for 30. Looking at prices really quick. Hmm. No, I'll just I'm just gonna take the uh, I'll just take the coins. So it was uh, thirty and twenty. Yeah, if you're selling them, yeah. Yeah, so all together he's gonna hand me one fifty. One twenty. Well, he hands you one fifty, and you hand him thirty back. Yeah. Okay. That's my bad. My bad. All right. So one twenty. Okay, yes. Yeah. Let's do that then. Okay. Shane. Uh, I pull out the uh, my uh, damaged chainmail, my smith hammer. I'm actually the uh, oldest son of a of a blacksmith myself. I'd like to keep my skills sharp. Would it be possible to work out some sort of deal where I can use an area of your shop to repair the armor myself? He'll sort of. Scratch his chin a little bit and thinking. As long as you use your own materials, I won't charge you. If you need any of my materials, I'll give them to you at a bit of a discount. Appreciate it, kind sir. Commit. What uh, what materials do I need? <laughs> so, you you're gonna need some a good chunk a chunk of metal for the. Uh, for the rings that you got to repair, um, and you have a hammer. I have, I have twenty-seven gold total. Is this possible? Yeah. Okay, that, that's all I need to know. Give a uh, roll a two d twenty. You better hope that you roll low. No, I did not. So uh, it takes thirty-two coins worth of. Materials. I've only got twenty-seven. <laughs> so take out a loan. <laughs> but I always ask: Is there any potential work that needs to be done? Oh yeah, I could do extra work. That is true. He looks at the other uh, chainmail ships. He's like, "Well, I'm eventually going to repair them." Uh, do you need? Do you need assistance? Sure. All right. Well, give you five coins a day. I work today. I can make some money back because I'm <laughs> broke. I have zero money, so I need to work. Okay. You realize so you, you could just really take good. out a loan with Erg and. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> like ninety-nine percent interest. <laughs> <laughs> Erg, 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 Daily interest. Have a fair price. <laughs> that dumb. All right, so I will get to work on uh, work on one of the pairs he needs to Very repair good first, business man. and then I'll work on mine as a show of good faith that I won't just like skip out. Okay. So Trace and Eric, it's going to take all day. Yeah. Eric so, out. Better hope I don't mess up any of your armor. I mean, what? I don't care. <laughs> Why don't you know <laughs> when you get your armor back, you find it's, it's unusually tight. Like it's not properly fitted. <laughs> Erg, clasp Shane's shoulder very tightly before leaving. It seems in a working order. It's just a little tighter than it used to be. <laughs> okay, so I mean, well, it, it should be fine. Nothing else, I guess we just should head back. Well, I'll be here. Unless you guys have anything else you well, want to do. Well, Erg also wants to sell this stupid light crossbow because he doesn't need it. Okay. Do you go to that uh, general store across the street? Sure. That seems. Is that where you sell a crossbow? I honestly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where where would Erg go to sell a crossbow? I mean, where what you other shops are stores. around? <laughs> Erg knows of two stores. In this <laughs> I mean, what other stores are there? Are there, are there? Like, 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 there's signs what around. What are they? What if there's like a specialty store where there's a store for just ranger gear? So you sell your crossbow there? No. <laughs> well, then Eric would go to the general store because where else is there to go? Sure. To the general I store. Ask the blacksmith. Oh, that's a good question, actually. No, Eric's already left. Too late for that. <laughs> Fine. I mean, you can't turn around. 
It's not like his feet are not capable of turning him around and going back to the fucking uh, desk. Nothing. Uh, er, er, <laughs> thought of something. Erg, <laughs> er, er, remember er, question. Er, voice and head <laughs> telling me to ask question. <laughs> <laughs> like, how about you ask the blacksmith for advice? Or er, think good idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Erg come up with great idea all on his own. <laughs> no, 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 all on Erg own. Yeah, all on, all on okay, Erg pronouns. own. Uh, pronouns, yeah, what the hell are pronouns? <laughs> Erg don't need no pronouns. Erg <laughs> need crossbow cell. Where cell? Fox. Is, is that supposed to be his please? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So he would myth, under, myth understand. Myth understand blocks. What blocks this myth you're talking about? Okay. So he he motioned to the west. He's like God, obviously. Couple blocks down that way, there's a Fletcher. A Fletcher? What the hell's a Fletcher? They make bows and arrows. Oh, oh okay. God. I don't know what that term means. I've never bought bows and arrows. Have you bought bows and arrows in real life? I've never done that. No. Just played wow. Skyrim. Yeah, just played Skyrim. Played Skyrim. Not wrong. Where do I buy my bows and arrows? Amazon. <laughs> Ergo Fletcher. Not thanks. Wrong. Okay. Give me one arrow at a time. So Erg, you head down the street. Um, you know, what about you, you, the extra bolts and stuff? Did we not get any of that stuff? Are the, all the bolts gone or in the quiver? Well, you have a few in your chest. What did you do with those? What? Wait, no, I'm just talking about, like... <laughs> I'm, talk, I'm talking about the bolts that would be found on the bodies of the people we murdered. Were those, Wouldn't like... have grabbed them? They were tiny little sticks. What? I mean, Wouldn't what else... have grabbed these handful of sticks? Well, I mean, if it's in a quiver and it's what was in his body, then yes. <laughs> okay. What we, need is a repeat, what we need is a repeating crossbow. I'll let you roll 1d10. <laughs> Get the one. Please. Myth is a gracious god. Please, the memes. Six. Oh, Congratulations, you, you have six bolts. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only person with 3D dice on? Okay, so where's the uh, Fletcher? How do I get to that shop? So, the street is invisible to me. <laughs> <laughs> you step out of the shop and realize that everything is pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. I'm not uh, sure if I even have a Fletcher's shop set up right now. Oh. I don't think I do. Well, we can just imagine. All right, he yeah, watches. Yeah, we'll just imagine it. Okay. He watches I have, like he... everything else except that. Imagination. All right, let's pretend this table is okay. the Fletcher. No, no. So you you head down the street to the west a couple blocks, and at first you you're just kind of looking around, trying to look at any signs. You see one sign that has like it has almost like the shape of a D on it. <laughs> but both of them are a little thicker than other sections. And so you look at the crossbow and you're like, that looks nothing like it. <laughs> Is there an arrow on it? Oh god, I'm going to back to base instead of helping find out where you can find something. I'm, I'm so glad I'm not going to be involved in that shit. Oh my, oh my god. So uh, make a mind check. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. You sort of squint your eyes as you're staring at the sign. <laughs> trying to decipher what it could mean. Oh god. <laughs> and then you shake your head and you're like, definitely not this. I'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Oh, I needed the dude from the, <laughs> from the FWA. <laughs> That's what the D stands for, dude. <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, so He's Jojo. Find his way back to the base. We'll find out. We'll find out what, what, he's, what I'm saying. We'll find out, he said. Yeah. Oh my God. I'll, I'll be right back. Um, if there's something that is going on that involves me at all, just message me on Discord. I'll be right back. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so Jojo. Yes. You're being led across this town by this guy from the militia and he's bringing you closer to the docks it's still in the south it's like the southwestern section of the city um and let me get this just to confirm i've never met the guy before right you have never met the guy before okay. Okay. Uh, moving you guys over. So you guys might have to zoom out to find this. It's like in the middle of the entire map here. Right. So you enter into this other inn, in and tavern combined, and this is significantly fancier than the ones that you one that you guys stayed at. Yep. Uh, just imagine there are people here. Okay, so. Fancy. Fancy, there's no one's here. The, the guy who was with you just said that he's been staying in a room here. Just walk on the bare skin. You'll be sure to find them. <laughs> just walk. Okay. okay. Uh, Shout out to that knocked over stool over here. Go to the bartender then. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so you walk up to the bartender and he's cleaning the glass and serving somebody else a drink. Where is he? In your imagination. In the mind's eye. I ask him, is there a Mushin here? Mushu. <laughs> Can't pronounce that name for the life of me. Yeah. <laughs> so he... He looks at you for a second, sort of looks you up and down and is like, yes? I, I must speak with him, is he... Can, can you point him out to me? Give me one second. Finding a motion sprite. Yes. There we go. <laughs> so he uh he sort of points his nose <laughs> behind him uh, at uh this one dude who's sort of over in the corner. You walked right by him as you walked in, obviously. Oh, I barely saw that. Oh, he's the old fucking healer guy that I got killed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so, what do you do? I approach him and go, Are you Mushu? He stops what he's doing and sort of looks over his shoulder at you. Like, who's asking? The apprentice of... Uh, dude, we never gave our, my master a name. Well, name him now. Master <laughs> Zeppeli, fine. Okay. Master Zeppeli. Apprentice, apprentice of Master Zeppeli. My name is Jonathan Joestar. It's a pleasure to meet you. He stands up. Sort of looks you up and down. Did you extend your hand out to shake? Yes. He he doesn't take it immediately. At first, he just sort of looks at you for a few seconds, sort of gauging the you. Hand still, hand still out. Yeah, and then the he'll give you a he'll grasp you firmly on the arm. Like this, not just a handshake. This is like an arm shake, you know. Okay. So it reciprocates. And then he, then he speaks. He's like. How is Master Zeppeli doing? How is he doing? <laughs> uh, he was doing pretty fine when you met him. I mean, okay. Last oh. I spoke with him, he was doing pretty good. <laughs> excellent, excellent. The martial arts <laughs> keeps you in good health, after all. Yes, yeah. He yes, did not Master have cancer. Zeppeli was not one who you normally got sick. <laughs> 
I wanted to speak with you while I was in town. Have you heard anything about a a man named Dio in the area? A man named Dio, you say? Anything, any defining characteristics, or just the name? Uh, he likes to yell a lot, uh, got blonde hair, he's fairly tall, about my size. Uh, he, he might have a menacing aura around him. I, I'm hunting this man down. Master Zeppelin told me I should speak with you at the very least, just to see if you knew anything. Mm. Fortunately, I can't say I do. Haven't seen anybody that I would consider to have a truly menacing aura, at the very least. And other than that, nobody truly memorable. In other words, he's weak. Okay. Uh, while I'm here, I was wondering if there's anything you might have to teach me. <laughs> he smiles. He's like, I am... Not that vain to think that I can teach you what Master Zeppeli could not. Well, we had to cut our training short as I was summoned here. Guided here? Sure. <laughs> oh, no, like George is actually saying that. Oh, okay. <laughs> he kind of looks at you a little bit strange. <laughs> He's like, well, if you would like to spar, I'm always up for that. Excellent. Don't you have a sprained ankle? Yes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Stop, Jojo. I went go for my guy. Go, on, Jojo. Okay. So. Be glad to spar with you anytime, whenever you're ready. I do not wish to be. Even right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, he just sort of stands up from his knees, like, "Well, now's as good a time as any." <laughs> this is gonna be fun to watch. Okay, so he walks out. And give me just a second. I'm just going to repurpose this area real quick oh. and pretend that this was totally planned. <laughs> right, not like this guy's got made up stats that are probably just JoJo stats. <laughs> well, believe it or not, I do have stats for him actually. Okay. I just don't have him set up as macros. Okay. Because I feel actually this might happen. Okay. Um, I wasn't really sure what else I was supposed to ask him. Let us get next to each other and punch each other. Yeah. Okay, so give me one second to give him hit points and stuff. But I feel like this progressed me towards three of my goals. Oh my god. Jojo, are you level two? No. Progresses. Well, if you somehow manage to win or something, who knows? Easy crits every single time. <laughs> okay, so. He looks. You guys can see his hit points, right? Hmm? You can see his hit points, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. So, he will uh, kind of just stand the person. He's like, you can take the first shot. It's very gracious of you. We're good in battle. S steps forward. Me and Mortal Kombat-esque. Jojo jo Punch! Oh, Do you say that? This is only practice? This, this is only practice, so I will not try to do any permanent damage. <laughs> 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 I won't try, but if it happens. Oh, the crit! <laughs> so okay, so damage. you do an additional 4 and do 13 damage. Quopan. Yeah. I'm guessing I can get my offhand attack as well? Yes. Jesus, he's gonna have a bunch of health. Okay. Okay, that hits as well. For another 4. And let's see. So after you do that, he's you definitely see that he seems to have underestimated you a little bit. Like after you get that those two hits in, he's like, "Ooh, you can see he's, 
He's getting more serious. <laughs> and he turns to you, he's like, good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. And he... He pulls out... Well, not pulls out, but he... Uh, <laughs> he pulls out he's a swing dagger. You. He swings at you pretty hard, too. So... Let's see. He pulls out a short sword. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's at this moment that you realize that you fucked up. <laughs> you. This is a karate <laughs> So that hits you. It's, well, uh, Jesus, a plus eight. Okay, so. How early? Uh, you take 15 damage. Jesus. And you need to make a vitality save. Damn it. What? Do I need to do anything or can I go early? Uh, if you need to go, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. You, that makes it lad later. G -g 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 so, that's a fail. Uh, you are considered staggered. Oh, um, is, <laughs> is 15 damage enough to cause an injury? <laughs> uh, what's an injury? Your injury thresholds. Oh. oh, so that's what those mean? Yes, that'd be a medium injury. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, a... Then I would have taken a one earlier, too. From... Okay, right, well, don't worry about it. Uh, just <laughs> give me a 1d20. <laughs> okay. Because that one guy did 19 damage to me, though, when I hit. Four. Four. I don't know if Lowe's. Good or bad on that? <laughs> uh, it doesn't make a huge difference. So you have internal bruising. Ow! Your vitality stat is reduced by two. Damn. <laughs> the the uh, sparring idea wasn't a good idea. <laughs> uh, so how do I? Uh, to the left of Vitality. The left, in that empty spot on the left, just put a minus two. It should okay. work. Yeah. Okay. So, after he lands this blow on you, like, right in the chest, and he just sees you kind of lurch back and just like, He <laughs> 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 kind of realizes that maybe... Maybe he was a little bit too serious, and he's like, fuck. <laughs> and he kind of just takes a step back, and he's like, waiting out to see if you recover. Okay. How do you how do you react? Uh, second win. Okay. Give the plus four. Or would that be reduced, because my vitality is reduced? No. It would be, if you only get two. Oh, dang. I will take the... Step forward and still attack. So, because you are staggered, you don't have an action. Okay. So, you only you did have the bonus action, so you could do that, but you're not able to do anything. Once Other, I mean, you can move. But. Yeah. No, I won't back up or anything. Uh, I'm not going to move into the attack. I'll let him come back. Okay. So. Regain my footing. So, is it obvious that you are sort of recovering? Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like standing his ground still, like fists up, just trying to like regain his balance. Yeah. His so seeing kinda... seeing that you're uh you're recovering yourself and that you still want to continue, he'll give you a solid nod of acknowledgement and be like I'll hold my blows for the rest of this. Getting the pity punches. <laughs> Any good fails? <laughs> So as he steps super in, super full. So as he steps in to deliver this punch, this like right hook to you, you quickly, as like before this, you were like, kind of almost like half crowd or half uh, leaning fuck over a little bit, and then, <laughs> and then you just sidestep, like you completely recover and sidestep him completely out of his expectation. You're a ninja. So at first, he really tried too hard against you, and then he tried not hard enough, and you just completely stepped around him. Getting stronger as I fight him. Yeah. So he step forward again for that? Yeah, sorry. He'll step forward, and then 
Before the end of his turn, though, he will spend 10 movement to recover his footing. Sounds good. My turn, I'll second wind again. Another plus two. And I'll attack again. Okay. So Jojo found us soon? Yep. Ah, yeah. That's a miss. And now he's in a mortal, in mortal yeah. combat? No, it's a sparring match. We're fine. Oh, okay. That, that's my turn. Yeah, okay. So he's going to step forward into your guard and attempt to grapple you. Okay. Uh, so make a vitality save. That can be hard. A... You oh, got it. Two. Oh. oh, well, it's actually only minus one. But, uh, okay. So you, you are... My vitality being less. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, it's minus one because every two vitality is plus one save. Okay. Save. Why did my saves go down by two? Uh, I thought it. Oh, that's only one. one. Oh, it did. Oh, right. My might saves is from something else. Right. Yeah, you have. Uh... Oh, why does he have internal yeah. bruising? <laughs> <laughs> he got a massive really punch to the chest. Oh, uh, punched real hard. <laughs> yeah, real hard. <laughs> Okay. Mushin so, was like, good. Did injury for my 13 damage to him? No. No? Fuck. No. Not even a minor there's... Nope. Oh, is that that honest. 17 damage right there that gave him that injury? No. No, that was actually just an accuracy roll. Uh, but he did do 15 damage. Because it's, it's just base 15 damage. <laughs> Ow. There's no roll for damage, I'm assuming. No. Now it's his turn. Okay, so, well, he tried to grapple you. You escaped right. it. Okay. He's going to... He can't okay. do that. Okay, he's just going to... Uh, he's going to unleash a flurry of blows on you. Ba 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 Hits. Hits. Fuck. Okay, so that is... You take eight damage. Okay. Between both attacks? Yes. Because the only two that hit you were the offhand ones. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Second win for that plus... Plus two, and an attack. A... Okay, you hit him. I don't expect to win. I just want to do well. <laughs> as long as you hurt him enough, he'll respect you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's going to do another flurry of blows on you. Jesus. <laughs> All right, uh, okay. well, rest so in peace, take, Jojo. <laughs> you take 19 damage. But because these are split up in three attacks, yeah. you don't take injuries. That puts me at minus one. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you collapse to the ground unconscious. And uh, eventually we'll find out how this affects you. I'm assuming he helps me. <laughs> so I don't have to make that save. Mushin <laughs> just leaves you in the alley to die. Or to be robbed by random peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Or by random ergs. Yes, yes, erg, yes. This is true. Can There's we can we have an opportunity roll for erg? I mean, we just... <laughs> I'm like I'm not really right. far away. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a really nice inn that you found him at. Where is this? North City? North of the, the city? This is near the docks. Oh. Eric just goes patrolling in the North Docks. Uh... <laughs> okay, so... Let's see. So this would still There's be while money. they're shopping. I what? have no money. <laughs> <laughs> but you have <laughs> some <laughs> gear. Wait, do you? Well, you probably have some gear. I have, like, weighted gloves. <laughs> there we go. Eric would take those. And sell them. <laughs> what, do you know what they are? They just look like gloves. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it, clothes in general are, are gear. So uh, just... What's the severity of uh, internal bruising? Three. 
three as well. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, so Eric, you 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 walked past this <laughs> bunch of and, and you kept going until you come <laughs> upon the docks. <laughs> And then you start to look left and right, and you're like, I thought there was a Fletchery in this room. You feel betrayed and lied to. Uh huh. How do you react? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, if I, uh, I, I guess I'll just keep looking for the Fletchery. <laughs> okay, where do you go this time? I mean, in what direction? You even prop. I, I don't. If how how far did the guy say it was? <laughs> uh, roll a mind check to see what that is. That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh sorry. I need to click on my character. I need to go find my character again because I'm zoomed in on this stupid fight. <laughs> Where's? Oh uh, no, that was a different map. Oh okay. okay. I can't find so did, myself then. Did Eric ever find a place to sell his crossbow? No, that's not right. yet. We're, We're trying right now. Not right now. Uh, hold on. I I can't. I gotta get to myself so I can click on myself so I can do a mind check. Okay, uh, we're back on that map now. All right. Let's see if it. Okay. Uh, I think it it killed it for me, so I'm gonna have to. Get in uh, again. Oh well. Roll twenty. It is. Advent on Einor. Launch game. All right. You can't just press refresh, and it'll automatically bring back up the game. That, just w- that would have been a good idea. I, I didn't think about that before I did it. Before you, I quit everything. You're becoming Herc. Yeah, that's true. All right, click on it so I do a mind check. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fails so, again. Uh, you don't remember how far away it was. All you remember him saying was that it was to the west. Did I immediately go to the west? <laughs> you think so. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. All right. Well, I guess I'll roll a one d two on whether I should go to the back to the east or the or the west. So, well, you're already as far west as you can go. Oh well, then I guess I'm just going to go north. east, right? <laughs> well, do you go east, north, south? <laughs> he's just going to go east. He just wants okay. to. I mean, he's not exactly smart. He just wants to find the stupid Fletcher to sell his goddamn <laughs> crossbow. So you start going back east. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's, <laughs> it's been probably an hour and a half of walking. <laughs> you really try to look for this uh, fletchery. Where, where is this fletchery? I need to sell this crossbow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so. You you start getting back into the area that you're more familiar with, and you see another shop, and it has like this weird thing on the sh- on the sign that looks almost like a D, except <laughs> it's at like a forty five degree angle. Hmm. You're really confused what it could mean. Yeah, what could it mean? Let's roll this check again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so was it one D twenty that? I, what yeah. did I roll? A mind check. Oh, oh, okay, that's what it was. All right, I couldn't remember. Okay. He did it! Woo! You decide that out of all the shops that you've passed, this is the only one that really confuses you. So you think just maybe at least the person in here would have directions for you. There you go. There's Erg being smart, man. High five, Erg. I knew you could do it. So you enter into the shop. He goes in. I mean, this. I'm assuming this table right here, this is probably where the guy is. So he goes up to sure. this table. Okay, so as you enter into the shop, like up on the wall is a rack with a handful of bows up there. And then in the back behind the counter is like a couple shelves with a handful of crossbows. And then in the corner is 
uh, a handful of quivers, like stocked full with arrows and bolts. Erg's, Erg just approaches the uh, the owner. Erg, need, sell. Crossbow holds it out. Okay, oh. he takes it. And How much? It for a bit. How much? Sell. <laughs> he kind of looks up at you and raises <laughs> an eyebrow. Uh, I'll give you 30 coins for it. Mm. You're trying to intimidate him? <laughs> no. <laughs> Erg, sell. Okay. Erg, also have bolts. You buy? Yes. You, you take out the six bolts? Yes. He examines them for a little bit. He's like, and then he puts five coins on the table. Six! Six he bolts, moves six the five coins. coins! a little bit closer to you. Six! Six! He flips you an extra coin. Erg, take. Erg. So he says, Erg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Erg's happy. I mean, he just leaves. He's got his he money. He's 36 coins. Yeah. He's fine with that. He doesn't care. He doesn't know. <laughs> Okay, so back over to Shane. Well, he's gone now. Okay, I was going to have him roll to see how effectively he repaired the armor. We'll, we'll find out about that eventually. Okay, so. Uh, Trayson, do you just wait there at the blacksmith shop for your armor to be repaired? He says in what, tomorrow? Yeah, he basically says, well, because he has Shane help him, he's, he says it would probably be like six hours. Six hours? How long is, how long is a long rest? Eight, usually. And we're in the middle of the afternoon? Yeah. Like midday. And you, this is what's just after you guys took a long rest. Yeah. Um, I mean, really not a whole lot for me to do right now, so I guess so. Okay. Let's just go back to the compound, chill, and head back. Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, both you and Erg can now say that you have medium armor. So put that on your character sheets. Lit. I now have the most armor of everybody here. Good for you, George. is still super poor, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, he okay. got no money there. <laughs> so, we're going to be moving back over to JoJo. He got knocked the fuck out. Yep. Yes, he did. So, he will... Be helping you back to uh, not death. And let's see real quick how effective that is. Bushun's got a very small hut. Mm -hmm. This is a room inside of a tavern. Mm. This is the hallway. Oh, I see. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, he will... Okay, congratulations, JoJo. He reduces the severity of injuries by three points. So just like any one injury, I guess? So you have no, basically to my recovery? three recovery points that you can distribute as you wish. Okay. Is that on... So... In total three, or including yes. like three plus my recovery? No, you don't get those because you haven't taken a long rest yet. Okay. I wasn't sure if this was... Yep, I'm just getting rid of that turtle person. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. And then... You will wake up with... Uh, hold on while I figure out his mind. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> oh, you get seven hit points. Okay. Perfect. Sounds good. 
And then you wake up and you see him on the other side of the room leaning against the desk. Sup, bro? When I wake up and I see him, I'm like, good fight. I think I learned a lot from it. He kind of has a, a wry grin, like, he didn't really expect it to go that way. He's like, your fighting is a little bit inconsistent still. <laughs> I'm still just a student, after all. That first blow of yours was quite good. Just need to just luck. need to maintain that for the rest of the fight. <laughs> RNG. <laughs> <laughs> I just need a more practice. I know. That's why I was jumped at the chance to spar with someone else who's been studying for longer than I have. It's only been three years for me myself. He gives an understanding nod. He and then he pauses for a moment before explaining. Starting tomorrow, I'm heading south to Yathnius. So I won't be here. It's up to you whether you come with me or not. Uh, I currently have another mission I, I feel I must attend to, but I would otherwise jump at the chance. But I appreciate swearing with you. It, I learned a lot. He does. May we meet again? And may it, not, may it be in times of Mary. He chuckles. Can't, can't, can't. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Mushin. And just goes weird. Heads, heads back to the base. Hobble, you mean? <laughs> Still got that sprain. <laughs> <laughs> Still got the sprain, yeah. Ow, ow, <laughs> ow. <laughs> That's definitely one goal done. Yeah, okay, so let's see how much experience you get for that. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. You get 10 experience for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, does anyone else think they've done anything? Don't think so. I feel like I've made progress to my other two, but I definitely haven't done them. I got Not yet. Third. Okay, so that's probably where we're going to end up ending it for tonight. You guys are on your way back to the base, and it's still, well, at this point, it's probably near nightfall. <laughs> we'll cover the rest of that in the next session then and we'll find out the fate of Bryn Jojo wants to rest <laughs> <laughs> um, he's gonna take a nap are we gonna try to make it on Sundays that, that is the home. goal assuming okay. everybody can make it yeah, should yeah be I should be able to cool okay so make sure you don't or I guess you're not playing this week, but I'm not playing for. I've only got one more game for the rest of the season, man. I'll be able to make mm -hmm. it for sure. Sounds good. Okay, good session, everybody. You guys managed to avoid death, although JoJo went down, but yep. he had good death saves. Easy peasy. And has a habit of getting in the thick of it. <laughs> not even a problem. Okay. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miff. Yep. GTFO. G. Um, G's. <laughs>